to it, right? It just, you won't hit the one that you're facing, you'll hit the one below it. Yeah, I know. Yeah, okay. Did I jump too early? Uh, I think so. I think so. Now yeah, screw it. I'm going with the... Actually, you, the, actually, you might need the, the jumping augmentation. Method. I'm not sure. Yeah, I'm going with the lamp. Oh, wait, method. I thought you already had the jumping aug. Jensen's white. He doesn't got hops like that. <laughs> but his legs are black. Are they actually? Well, I mean, look at his hands. That's a good point. <laughs> I did just try to as well. Yeah. I know some people are really big on the whole you look down and you see your own body thing. I really don't give a fuck. Yeah, look at if me. I was playing a VR game, then sure, but yeah. I'd, Pretty I'd, dumb thing to get like annoyed about. Oh yeah, this is derelict like, row territory. Are you serious? Uh, last time you landed on the little plinth around the light pole. This time you just landed on Dude, the Dude, let's be real. He should not die from like a 10 foot drop. As I said before, there is an I augmentation can, that I will can cancel out all fall feet. damage. I can drop 10 feet and not even get hurt. That's not bad, gentlemen. Well, it might hurt, but... No, it'll hurt. You just won't get me. hurt. Yeah. Well, I mean, that's the thing I always thought in Rainbow Six, right? Was that it's justified that falling there kills you because you'd break your ankle and the terrorist would kill you. You know, it's just... Okay, fair. Yeah, that is basically a death. You know, I'm up against 30 terrorists and I have two yeah, bots to help me. Purposes, yeah, yeah, a broken ankle is fatal at that point. It's kind of the same way drinking some seawater when you're a lifeboat is fatal. It's just, yeah, that's it. GG's. So you're just going to take him up from up here. <laughs> yes. All right. So I'm not going to bother with a stealth approach. Just going to wreck some fools. Which is kind of funny. I wonder why it hasn't given you a notification saying, yo, you know, you've blown it. Or whatever, because I think that's what normally happens. Because I don't blow it, dude. Well, it should just have a little red X on the left there that says, you know, remain undetected in DRB territory. Failed. Well, I wonder why. apparently not. I guess maybe out here these ones don't count, but once you get into the compound, they will. Maybe. I'm not that's sure. This assault rifle kicks ass. It does okay, yeah. I like it. Good gun. You want to save before you do anything vertical? <laughs> You know, I think there's a quick save button. You might look up with that. Yeah. Oh, no, wait. You have it's a controller. Good. Shit. It's all good. Yeah. Nice. Also, I think you have a Praxis point to spend to augment if you want. Also, I just realized I told you to hit tab earlier. <laughs> forgetting that you're not on a keyboard. I can always just hit tab. My computer's right next to me. Ah. Pretty slick. Sitting on a chair. <laughs> hey, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> what a knucklehead. Nice feet seeds you got there, buddy. Yeah, but uh, our alma mater prevailed and will be the third seed in the playoffs out of our district. And meanwhile, those other, that other team will be the fourth seed. And they get to go to the number one ranked team in the state. And I expect to get shut out, blown out. Suck it. That's good. Good yeah. for our uh, former high school. Hey, you good know. Good for the coach of our former high school. Who's, who's a good nice dude. Guy. Yeah. Yep. A pretty good coach, too. I don't like That's everything good. he does schematically, but you know what? He knows what he's doing, and the kids believe in it, so, hey. Yeah, sometimes it's all you can ask for. No, I mean, it's fine. And like, I don't expect everyone to agree with me philosophically, but it's just he does a good job, you know? He has those kids well-coached. They're prepared. Shit. And you know what? It's I mean, he has a big senior class, but there's a lot of youth on the team, and there's a lot of youth coming up through the grade school and junior high. Good. Yeah. How's your team doing? Uh, they, they won the other night, 50-zip. Wow, nice. Against uh, the team that my mentor used to coach. Really? Yeah, so well, I got to see the single wing in action. Revenge. Well, you know, it's... That team has beaten us for a long time. Uh, I think uh, the school I work at has one win over them in the last eight tries up until last night. Well, well now they can have two. Yeah, they did. Well, and here's the thing, you know, most people were expecting the other team to win. But... Right. Including myself, by the way, looking at film and knowing how the results have been. Uh, you're making a lot of noise. <laughs> but What are you on about? Man. But I think now you need to be sneaky to avoid pissing off Jenny. What about melee? You, can, you walk up to him and you hit, I don't know what, it'll, there'll be a prompt for it. I think it's B. The non-lethal takedown is quieter. And you can also drag his body back to prevent it being seen by uh, those knuckleheads. Because sometimes it will make some noise and they'll say, well, what was that? And walk over. Yeah, because you see, they've been alarmed. 
But if you carry it back, they will not they will not be alerted by the gun lying there though, or the fact that their friend has just vanished for no reason. That's kind of dumb. Kind of yeah. stupid, but yeah. <laughs> well, how would you do stealth otherwise? Famous. That's the problem, you know. How yeah. would you make that work? You know, it has to be fun still. But well, if you could go and just pick up his gun or hide his mm -hmm. gun or whatever too. But anyways, the kids played very well. They were very physical. Didn't make mistakes really. Uh, at least not costly ones. There were a couple of things, but. Yeah, I was on the sideline. I just made the sign of the hammer every time they scored and as they came off the field, you know, and by the end of the game, some of them were doing it back at me. I was like, yeah, I'm there with my man of shirt. <laughs> yeah. That's awesome. Mm hmm Yeah. Talked to head coach for the game and I said, hail and kill, you know. You got to be careful with that stuff. Okay, that particular song, yes, but the title is fine. Oh, ah! shit. That was close. That was close. Might be able to lure him. You got to try... Wait, what's your, what's your plan? What's your play here, brother? Uh, yeah. Machine pistol is not the sneakiest of weapons. You can go into cover. Mm -hmm. How do I do that again? Uh, it's, That's how I do that. Yeah, okay. I say it's usually the A button. I love the little transition between covers thing. <laughs> it's just that little. Whoop. Yeah, another game that has this kind of cover system is uh the Army of Two games. Mm hmm. Those are good. I like the third one a lot. Yeah. So you can probably sneak up on this guy when he turns. Well, that guy is over there. Yeah, he's Being watching, so that's a little tricky. I need this guy to, like, come over here. Yeah. Oh, that might... There we so, go. Might, that might lure Damn him. Bitch. He can wait around the corner and melee him when he shows up. Come on. That's the plan. Come on. Oh no, I'm so intimidated, buddy. Yeah. Of course, if you had a tranquilizer rifle, you could just pop it. Now turn around. Give me, give me, give me. Oh <laughs> shit. Oh, we're good. That was awkward. I hit B, it didn't didn't do it. Ding dong. Oh, he's got the rear naked choke locked what is, in. What does his shirt say? Ong, ong, ong. Okay. That's weird. Yeah, I don't know what that means. Yeah, you want to save before you fuck everything up? Ah, shit. <laughs> you gotta be waiting quick save with this. Actually, no, probably not, because yeah. on a controller, you'd accidentally bump it, and then you'd be fucked. Potentially. There's some uh, UFC fights on tonight. Yeah, yeah. Are there oh, some that you're hyped for? No. Okay. I'd have to look at the card again. The main event is kind of weird. I've never worn a card again. Yeah, good one. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> well, I couldn't take him down, so... Yeah, you could have dropped on the floor next to him and done it, but... Oh, they definitely heard me, though. Well, you better get underneath. Oh, shit. Whether they see the body or not, I'm not sure about, but you could, you could bring it down there with you. Come on, buddy. <laughs> Give me all your shit. Did you get his stuff? Mm-hmm. Yeah. It flashed so quickly, I wasn't sure. Yeah, I did. Okay, nice. All righty. So there are two things going on here. One is you need to find the stash that uh, Jenny notified you about. I would not recommend shooting him. There are a bunch more enemies. And you also need to take out the jamming tower, which is an unrelated mission. There is also a vent behind that box on the left. Ah, oh, shit. <laughs> yeah, now you've been detected. you're talking about. Yeah. So you could either load, or you could, um... Well, you're gonna die Got on my so. shield. Oh, do you need me to sing the song? No. <clears throat> it's okay. Okay, fine. It still just makes me smile that some of the kids sing Heart of Steel when, uh, when I play it between classes. It just it just it just warms my heart up. It should. Yeah, yeah. Well, that just, was a good uh, save there. There's something. There's just something good about it. <gasps> okay, you don't have to sprint, dude. You're making noise. <laughs> nah, dude. I'm fast as fuck. <laughs> to quote my boy Lopez. Uh huh. Lopezado. Yeah. <laughs> We're on the same page, brother. We're on the same page. I believe you can go up or down. 
If you turn around, I think you can go back up. By the crates or no, no, okay. Hmm. Am I misremembering this? <clears throat> Possibly. Possibly. Maybe there's two elevator shafts. You scared me for a minute there. I thought your memory was shot when you didn't remember who Kevin Green was. Oh uh, yeah. I hadn't thought about him in ages, I will admit. Oh yeah, no, you have to go up the boxes. Upstairs. But um also just so you know, there are some landmines in this facility someplace. That's descriptive. Well, they'll be red and blinking. I'll talk right, about those once we get there. Descriptive, to be fair. Well, they're also in this particular brick building. Okay. Yeah. So if you hear beep, beep, start moving slowly and crouch. Da da do do da da do do. Da 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 da. Right. Yeah. An Irish guy. Hmm. Yeah, they all right. What are they gonna do? Find me? Well, I mean the other guy should investigate the body. Perfect. But if he sees you, then you lose your whole undetected streak. Yeah, he won't. Alright. Hey buddy. Mm -hmm. Come on. A little bit more. That was an awkward shot. No, nah, you failed it. What the fuck? Well, you shot a guy. What? He was aware How of that. How did he see me? He didn't see me. No, but he felt the bullet. That's fucking bullshit. You gonna load or what? Do I actually need to be undetected? You don't need to be, but it, it leads well, to better rewards it. and Jenny will be happier with no. you. No. Okay. Then fuck it. All right, all right. I don't care. There's a rocket launcher. Ooh. Should I take that? I uh, know. <laughs> it takes up a ton of inventory space. It has very limited applications. Where am I going? Uh, you can go through that door on the little... So turn left. Go forward. Now go right. I like this music. Yeah, I, I was like, I actually mentioned that earlier. I need to buy the music for this game still. It's just so good. Why wow, you guys are so cool tagging up your own fucking place. Yeah. Well, I think these are just hobos. No, I just mean the people. Uh, what the fuck BRB. did you say to me? <laughs> Wait, what did she say? She said, put the weapon down. What are you, a fucking liberal piece of shit that <laughs> wants to get rid of our guns? Pretty much every character in the game, oh, if you have a gun out, will not oh, be shit. happy that you're talking to that person with a gun out. The fuck? You can either hop over or you can go through the sewers to get in there. Alright, or I can die. Yeah, well hey, this uh, will preserve your undetected streak for what it's worth. Rate of fire on the pistol? Pretty bad. You can get pretty upgrades for good. it. Yeah. yeah, it's not great. Yeah, agreed. Really should use it a different weapon, but... Maybe, maybe. Yeah, there's another achievement in this game for doing the whole thing without killing anybody. That's always fun. Wow, did it really save at this perfect time before I lost my undertaker? No, you lost it. Because there's two shotguns oh, yeah, on the there's floor. Oh, yeah, two guns, yeah. Well, oh well. Looks to be you. Yeah, does okay. it really, though? Yeah. Tell you what, if you ever play this game again, I'll tell you how you can do that no problem. Without getting detected. Yeah, it's totally super easy. drop down behind him and fucking kill no, him. No, no, what you should do. And this is what I did on my second playthrough. You see, you don't need to talk to Jenny to get into DRB territory. It's there, and you can go there any time. clear everybody out beforehand. Yep. <laughs> and then you just stroll on through. Do, 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 do. It was the easiest, peasiest thing you could imagine. And my internet, or is it your internet this time? I think it's his internet this time. Can you hear me? Yeah, I hear you now. I think that was your internet. Oh, I don't know anything that happened, so... No, but you got back quickly enough that it's okay, as far as I can tell. I'm going to check something real quick to make sure we're all fine. I think we're all right. Oh, he's hurt! <laughs> I got clipped pretty good. That's that's terrible. Yeah. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh, shit! Oh, good! I can finally get rid of that. Yes. Oh, my gosh, I finally figured that out. Anyways. Hey, guys. Uh, let's just talk about this for a second, okay? Okay, truthfully. You could go down the manhole. Honestly, okay. 
this is pretty uncool what you guys are doing right now. You know, they say that I caused trouble, but that is fake news, very false, and very Ah, oh, damn it, I just saw him. Yeah. Use a mini-map to your advantage a little bit. Yeah, I just, yeah. Anyway, um, but yeah, no, just clear out DRB territory in advance, murder everything, and then talk to Jenny, get the quest, and then walk in there bold as brass, because there's nobody around anymore. Uh, that, would be, that would be the easier way to do it, for sure. And you will get the little, nice job, Jensen. You know? <laughs> <laughs> I call it bold and brash. More like belongs in the trash. <laughs> okay. Because you said bold as brass. Yeah, I know. Just made me think of that. More like belongs in the trash. All right. You know that's from, right? Uh, the only place I've heard bold as brass is uh, from the movie High Noon. No, it's from SpongeBob. Ah, uh, I don't think I've heard Spielberg's that one. Art gallery episode when he's Dark. trying to teach SpongeBob how to do art. I don't remember that. He has a little painting, and the the art connoisseur guy he's showing it to him. He's like, "I call this one bold and brash." You know, the guy goes, "Bold and brash, more like belongs in the trash." Hey, look that up. What season was that? It's not new SpongeBob. It's old. Woodward Art Gallery. Yeah, you'll find it. It's when SpongeBob was making like the marble statue. I remember that. I gotta date the marble. Right. I gotta be the marble. Yeah, no, I remember that part. What episode is that? Episode. Yeah. Why? Why doesn't it just immediately? Artist on that's from season two. Holy shit. Yeah, it's old. Oh my god, the health takes forever in this game. It does, yeah. Which is another thing you can augment. Yeah, can I do that now? Mm -hmm. I have to say, one of the brilliant things about SpongeBob that we don't point out enough is the sound effects in that show are just perfect. Mr. Krabs' legs, Squidward's feet, you know. They're all so good. All right, brother. All right, do you belong in the trash? Yes. Apparently, based on the way you're playing. Yeah. Not uh, not very cash money of you, brother. I know. You're just going through the sewers. No. I mean, you still have to fight the motherfuckers, but it's just... Maybe it'll be easier if you're not shooting them through a chain link fence. I'm committed. Or you could just go over the fence and start waxing them. No, there's too many. Oh. Wait. Whiskey. I like how you're oscillating between the explosives and the whiskey. <laughs> oh shit, I didn't know that make me drink it. Oh, that's not what I wanted. Oh shit. I just like the idea of accidentally drinking a bottle of whiskey. A whole bottle, yeah. <laughs> Alright, boys. <laughs> Let's give it the old college try. Yep. Uh, I think that went pretty well right saddle there. Saddle my horse. As I drink my last ale, bowstring uh, and steel will prevail. I can't even see my health right now. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's up I know I'm drinking it. in real life, but I've had one beer. This is just the Jonathan simulator. This is Jonathan Jensen right here. Yeah, your health is very Dude, low. if I look like, if I was, my vision was like that after one beer, that would be great. <laughs> much cheaper to get drunk. I think eight beer is different from eight whiskey. <laughs> yeah, eight bottle of whiskey. Eight true. bottle of whiskey. Well, I mean, I think even a shot of whiskey yeah, is probably more than a beer, right? I'd be destroyed if I drank a bottle of whiskey. <laughs> <laughs> the good news is you're really yeah. close to the stash. I'll tell you that. Well, it depends on what you what beer you're drinking, honestly, oh. and what you're taking a shot of. Yeah. Because there's a big Fair. difference in like light beer versus like craft beer and all mm-hmm. that shit. Oh, God. So what does craft beer mean? I don't know. That it's not like Budweiser or some shit. Okay. It's like a local brewery or oh, something. Okay, so it's not just made of mac and cheese or whatever? <laughs> what? Oh my god. <laughs> Dude, some mac and cheese right now? It, it's not just Robert Kraft's piss cheese. in your mouth? Yeah, I'm glad. Yeah. I'm not an Asian masseuse lady, so See, I mean, not, you see, yeah. we're just in such good sync, you know? Yeah. Uh, I also like to point out that the Jaguars won a game. <laughs> Shout out to him, man. And the Raiders won. <laughs> I guess having yeah, shitty head coaching situations helps stuff. you, I guess, this last week. Yeah. Maybe yeah. we can get a shitty head coach. Oh, also, wait. just my Seahawks, our Seahawks, you almost gave us the greatest days of our Steelers of all time. Oh, my God. I wish they would have. 
You know what? If Tree wasn't so busy, I bet he'd do an episode just for almost losing to Gino led Seahawks team. You know. Yeah. True. Yeah. If he wasn't too busy streaming all the time. You know that really doesn't take up that much of his time. You know he does it what, considering he does it what once a week for one hour. Definitely takes less time than videos for sure. Oh, a hell of a lot less. It's I mean, look, why, you can make a case that Mahler spends too much time streaming because those streams are long and he does multiple ones a week. You know, you can make a case maybe that maybe Mahler does a little too much of that. Which on the other hand, I can't blame him because they have a fun time. You know, and he's getting something out of it as a you know he's learning. I'm, but I'm glad he has a good time. Yeah, no, absolutely. But it's just, yeah, yeah. Damn internet. It's him this time, or it's his internet this time, I'm pretty sure. It's John's internet. It's not mine. John's. Well. Yep, okay, I'm back. I don't know if it is or not. I'm back. I'm back. With you. Yes, you. Are you back? I think so. But, yeah. um, No, I mean, for as much time as he could be spending streaming as opposed to video editing, I mean, that he only does an hour each week, I'm down. You know, it's just... Dude, are you fucking serious, this guy? You shot like 75 rounds without having to reload. Now, do you not enjoy the other people in that uh, stream, or do you just not like I've never watched his streams. Dream? Okay, just curious. No, I just, I think his, I think he's best suited for videos. Oh, he might be, yeah. That's just what I think. I will say, so tough I, as I it enjoy is. I videos a lot. Did you, did you watch him streaming the Steelers playoff game against the Browns, though? No. Okay. Was it good? I mean... Yes and no. I mean, it's hard to listen to it sometimes. They lost, was... didn't they? Yeah, they Steelers? got embarrassed. They went down, what, 28-0 at one point. He molly whopped the fuck out of them. Yeah. It's one of my favorite sayings. Yeah, yeah. It's from a, it's from a different YouTuber. That talks you know, I hate to say it, but these guys look kind of the same to me. Not this guy, but the other two. Yeah, a little bit. You know? It's just... I don't know why the sleeves are different. The sleeves are different. This guy, I'm trying to flip him over. Hang on. And flip it good. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> Watch you throw him in the barrel and he catches on fire. There we go. He has a different shirt on, too. Fair so. enough, fair enough. Okay, with the context. That makes a lot more sense. It's the same jacket, though. I mean, yeah. they are gangsters, so they kind of wear sure, the same yeah. shit. That way you can't figure out who the kingpin is, because uh, they all look the same. So that's the same reason you don't salute officers on a, in a deployed location. Sure, yeah. That's a thing. Yeah, I had people still fucking come at me and bitch at me for not saluting them. I was like, "Do you not know where we are? Yeah, <laughs> do you not know what this situation is? You should be the situation. That. Yeah, this situation. Yeah, shout out to Gus Sarola. Yeah, old Gustavo. Oh, is there someone over here? I don't know. You tell me, buddy. Not too late. You got knocked the fuck out, buddy. Did you see, I just grabbed his shoulder. That was kind of mm-hmm. cool. Yeah, they did you seen that job. replay, buddy? Your head was bounced around like a pinball machine. Mother gets paddled like a pinball. Yeah, good stuff. Can't yeah, surprise you only took 20 damage there. It looks like a lot more damage. Nah. That's a lot of damage. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on. Now, I don't tell me you haven't back. saved since the air vent. No, I saved. Okay. I'm pretty sure. After Hope I so. load in, I'm going to grab another beer. Yeah. I thought I shotgunned the shit out of that guy. Yep. Yeah. I've, I've watched a few Man of War live performances on YouTube. Mm-hmm. It makes me want to make so many gifts out of Eric Adams. Yeah. You know, just him making certain gestures or laughing or whatnot. It's just the clips are just a little too short. It's just, but damn, that guy's expressive. And there's just something about him that makes me smile. I just say, this guy's enjoying his life. You know, he, he's yeah, having fun. Of course he is. Yeah. He's rocking out, dude. He's taking it seriously, but he's having fun at the same time. I don't know how he manages that quite. But yeah. I don't know. Maybe he's drunk on stage. Who knows? Yeah, a lot of a lot of performers do that. Yeah. Or drugs. Uh, yeah. Although I kind of doubt that's the case for Man of War so much. Those guys stayed in reasonably good physical condition for a long time. Oh, shit. Who the f- oh, you think so, buddy? Yeah. Also, apparently the two founding oh, members of the band, uh, DeMaio and Adams, they've known each other since childhood. That's cool. It is. Yeah. I like that. Oh, God. Yes. It lit up. You clipped? Yeah, a little bit. Get fucked. Get fucked. Wait, shooting at you from on high? 
Oh, shit, yeah. Use a cover system. Oh, that's a good point, yeah. Oh, my oh, God. God. So many. <laughs> oh, no! The entire new world was on your ass. Come on, bitch. Damn it! All right, I'm grabbing another beer. <laughs> yeah. I don't ah. know if that'll help. No, it'll help me. Okay, fair enough. Fair dues, fair dues. Mm -mm. All right, I'm back. Yep. You got this, John, and you've got this. I believe in you. Yeah, well... One day you I just need to learn to play this. with mouse and keyboard, for fuck's sake. I know how to play. I just don't want to. I know that. I just I don't, I don't get I it. I just prefer a controller. I get to kick back and relax. Uh, I guess for you, gaming is more relaxing. And for me, it's more so about having fun. Oh, I have fun. Yeah, but your fun is more relaxed than my fun is. For me, it's just I will sit up straight and I will... <sighs> yes, of course. You know what I mean? It's not a relaxing thing for me as much as it is for you. <sighs> It depends on the game for me. That depends. Yeah, that, there's that. You know, I mean, Nemesis is just that is definitely a kickback game. But you you'd have to play that game with a keyboard, anyways. But whatever. Yeah. Nemesis and RuneScape are the two ultimate time killing games we've had. Well, Ultimate Risk also for me. Yeah. Total War is a big time mm. investment for me. As well. Madden in a lot of cases. Madden, yeah. Also, I just came up with a ridiculous cheese. Yeah, what's that? Man, so, um... Is it Tim Tebow? Well, yeah, Tim Tebow, but I drafted a quarterback who had 4-4, four, 4-5 four, four, speed or something in the draft in the fifth round or whatever. And the nice thing about that is you can you can level up a guy's passing accuracy and throw power over time, mm -hmm. you know, pretty easily by just completing some bombs and also by doing those drills some in training pitch. camp. But because he's a running quarterback right now, he's in his second year, what I did was yeah. I realized you could do this because you can't have quarterbacks do the... The break tackle drill, right? Right. Change him to a wide receiver. There you go. But not only this, Smart. you know how you start out that drill and you have a, a full back, uh, you have a, a linebacker and a defensive back to beat to start out. Mm -hmm. Yeah. If you're a wide receiver, there's only one guy to start out. Fuck. Why is that? Because wide receivers aren't as good. They don't have as high of break tackle ratings as um, running backs do. I guess I just never did that for my work. And they also just—they also can't truck that. linebackers the way a running back can, you know. Right. So I, guess I just never tried it with the receiver. I did him as a receiver, and you know, so on the all was all Madden difficulty. Mm -hmm. There were only three defenders, which, by the way, is still not easy. Run even with a fast quarterback because he still doesn't have the cut on dime skills or the acceleration or the break tackle rating. But I managed it's a lot to get easier than having four though. Yes. The all Madden break tackle yes. thing is tough. Oh, it's a bitch. Because sometimes, here's the thing, because sometimes it just screws you, where you're at the goal line, and it keeps calling those draw plays, and it's just... Uh, <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> I couldn't tell you how many times I've wanted to bash my fucking face in with the controller. So stupid. Well, you say before guy, you start Or your fullback gets, like, stuck on the dummy. You get stuck on the dummy, or the... Well, what's better... Is if the defender gets stuck on the or, dummy and the fullback ignores yeah. him and you run through the gap and the guy gets off the dummy and tackles you. It's just fuck yeah. you. Or it's... they run the toss on the goal line and your fullback just jogs out there and then turns around and runs into you instead oh, of blocking yeah. somebody. Yeah. yeah that's... Well, that happens in the game itself too a lot, you know, where it's just some of a bitch block somebody, okay? Or if it doesn't you... seem to happen to me in game like it does in that drill. Happens to me a fair amount in the game where the ball will be on the perimeter. A lot of times on a pass out in the flat or something like that. And the guy will just run out there but not pick up a block, turn around and look for somebody. He'll just kind of get oh, in your way. Oh, come on with this fucking shotgun. That, uh, that was not great. I'm guessing you're not considering a stealth approach for this area. No. Okay. Clearly. I mean, you know, just a thought. Maybe diplomacy? To <laughs> the blind fire. <laughs> wow, are you fucking serious? Well, look, if you can't see him with your sunglasses, how are you going to kill him? Hmm? That's it's where, a shotgun! <laughs> that's where Jensen's power... Yeah, but you also know at that range, that column isn't exactly expanded. You fucker. Yes, I do. I'm sorry, which... Who, whom you do that? you fuck? 
I just answered the question. Oh. You said, you fucker, and I said, yes, I do. Did your sister tell you? Mm. Jokingly. Of no, no, it's fine. Well, I don't I don't think we're joking. These gangsters here, you know, we're not going to You got about... fucking blasted in the side of the head with a shotgun. You got domed. You're fucking wrecked. Yeah. Now, should this game have the Left 4 Dead 2 thing where you can blow faces off and stuff like that? You're saying, should it? Yeah. I mean, would you make that change if you had the power? I'd be fine with having it. I don't mm. care. Maybe. Isn't it a rated M game? Oh, I'm, well, I'm pretty sure the word fuck gets used at some point, so. Yeah, it literally just did. I'm actually trying. Yeah, yeah, because he's going to say it. All right. Like just now. I think I'm trying to think in Mass Effect whether anyone ever says it. I think maybe in the third There's game. There's also sex in those games. There's also sex. Yeah, that's true, too. Yeah. Um, yeah. Hey, buddy. This guy's going to take a piss, I think. All right, cool. Well, that's going to be the last thing he does on this earth. Yep. I was wondering where you, whether you're going to go for lethal or not. <laughs> I did alert a couple other dudes. What? I did say it was the last thing he was going to do on All this right. earth, so... Oh, yeah, but you could have done non-lethal and then shot him in the head. Oh, come on. That machine pistol puts out a lot of damage in a short time. Yeah. Well, it looks as though you've uh, saved that uh, better than being in the sewer again. Based on the load screen, anyway. I'm just yeah. so glad we got the stream figured out. This is the VPN all along, Austin. I guess it was. It's weird, though. Yeah, yeah, I suppose so. All right, this time we'll do non lethal. See if that doesn't startle them. I don't think it does if you do it non lethally. Yeah, no one would ever hear that. That's not how an arm works, by the way. <laughs> it shouldn't even hurt him. It didn't do anything. It was the intent behind it that did it. Yeah, it looks smooth. Also, there's an augmentation for being able to take out multiple people at once. Oh, really? Yeah, you, if there's two people bunched up and you get close enough to them, you can take out both of them. It's probably pretty useful. Yeah. They have something like that in Far Cry as well. Mm -hmm. um, it's like chain takedowns. Mm -hmm. where you can take down a guy and then stab the next guy too. Sure, yeah. Pretty nice. Yeah, I never got into the There's whole Assassin's of Creed kind of choreographed fighting system. I mean, I'm sure once you get the rhythm of it down, it's fun, but I just never quite got there. That's, that's not how Far Cry is. Far Cry is a first-person shooter. No, but you know when I, what I'm talking about, you know, setting up different moves and, you know, um, it's... Yeah. It's it's not free flowing combat. There's a stagey element to it, is what I'm saying. I mean, most of the far the uh, Assassin's Creed games countering was like the best way to kill people mm -hmm. if you weren't stealth killing them. If you're, well, I'm like, talking about in the campaign. Fight. I mean the sword fighting. Yeah, yeah. At least in the original game, there was sword fighting. Oh yeah, there are mines up here, by the way. There's sword fighting in all the so games. crouch and walk if you want not to get blown up. Yeah, What's yeah. your walk button? You're gonna get blown up. What do you mean, what's my walk button? I would just be like this. Yeah, right? there you go. If you do that, you can slowly approach them and uh, deactivate them. And pick them up. Can I just shoot them? You could do that, too. As I said, you need to walk if you're going to get close. Very, very quiet. And just so as you know, you can't jump near them or fall near them because they'll count that as moving quickly. Okay. Yeah. So if you drop out of a vent and there's a mine right there, it can go off. You just got picked the fuck up, buddy. Ow. <laughs> well, you didn't see that other mine? Well, no, I didn't think I was that close. Oh, oh hey, what buddy. was that? <laughs> hey, other buddy. Right. I think he's actually uh, commentating this card tonight as well, Bisping. So. Bob, you going to stream it? That'll be good. Uh, I don't think so, mm. unfortunately. Wish you would. What if he just got into streaming games and he was just playing random shit? <laughs> playing Tetris like all the other Russians? That'd be funny. Okay, I doubt he'd do that, though. He's, he's too busy this, to focus this, on... Uh... This block number one bullshit. Yeah. I, come I mean, is he conscious of the fact that he's a meme god? Uh, I don't think so. Mm. I mean, he doesn't say number one bullshit in general. It's no. It's like the only time he said it. 
Sure. But it's probably my favorite thing that he's ever said because yeah. it's fucking hilarious. Nice job scouting things out. Nice job scouting things out. So I need to go here, right? Yeah, because you can't get at the red one this time. But you could also, yeah, you want to get those cubes auto. if you can. Yeah. Nice, you haven't been detected yet. Undetected. Yeah, you're good, you're good. Easy work, motherfucker. <laughs> Took everything I work for, motherfucker. I'm gonna fight your fucking ass. I need to activate? What do Inactive. I Inactive. That's the jamming tire preacher was talking about. Nice. I'll fight your fucking ass. Uh, there's nothing Whatever, up here. Seraph. Bitch. That's not Whoa. true. There's a helipad here. Well, no, but there's nothing for you up here. Can I not? Why can I not move? Why can't you leave? No, why can't I move? Oh, oh is there a helicopter landing? Oh yeah, no, wait, don't go, don't go with Malik. There's more mission to be done here. You gotta find the stash. I I forgot that she'll come here because normally when I do this, I do this mission before I before Pritchard has a chance to tell me about. Where do this. I need to go? You need to go back down the stairs and the ladders and whatnot. Well, just, hello. Just, Helicopter can wait. If you want, I can tell you where the stash is. I actually mean VTOL because yeah. it's not a helicopter. Right, yeah. If you want, I can tell you where the stash is when you get there. Where is it? When you get outside, I'll tell you. Anyways, um, what was I going to say? Lost it. Damn. Could be. Something about that, yeah. Playing Tetris. Yeah. Meme God. Maybe he would play video games. He has Maybe. all the time in the world now. He's yeah, not yeah, yeah. Tetris is a Russian game, isn't it? Well, I know it's big in Russian. I think the music is a Russian folk song. Oh, really? I think. I, didn't know I, that. think. I don't know. I'm not an expert on this crap, you know? Well, sounds like uh, I'm going to take that as your word. Yeah. All right, so on the right. There I go. So it's underneath this. Uh, so turn right. Underneath that uh, big blocky. Structure there. There's a hole in the floor somewhere you can fall down, and the stash will be on underneath there. this. Underneath that general thing there, yeah. I don't, I don't remember exactly where the hole is, but I think you're getting warmer, roughly. Freezing. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. This. this is it. This is it. Oh shit. Yeah. Look at all those illegal weapons. Give me all your shit. Ammo capacity upgrade. Yeah. I need that. Hang on. You, you, can't, you don't have enough space to pick it up right now? Yeah. No. Well, there's some whiskey you could drink to clear up some space. There we go. You can also drop the, um, the machine pistol ammo, the blue dot, because you don't use the machine pistol. The what? The red ammo boxes. The ones that say 15. Four, yeah, you could drop that. Because, How do I drop? Um, I don't know whether it's a button or what for you. There you go. Oh. Also, I don't understand why you still have a double belt. You don't have enough room. It's a two by two or a three by two thing. And you just picked up the machine pistol ammo belt. again. <laughs> Damn it. That's 10 millimeter. I want that. Yeah. Don't want this. I will drink this. <laughs> and this. I don't think you can die of alcohol poisoning. Uh, yeah, painkillers are extra health. That's, that's a... Uh, that's enough space. No. And the thing will automatically reorganize itself okay. to um, accommodate the new pickup. Okay. Yeah. Should not have had the three bottles of whiskey then. You know, it's what it is. Um, yeah. And if you look on the left, there's the dope fish. The what? The dope fish. What's a dope fish? The dope fish is a little image that appears in various games as an Easter egg. Um... I think it was first seen in Commander Keen and later in Doom and Quake games and whatnot. And here's the dope fish again. That's cool. He's just a bucktooth fish that, uh, yeah. I think he's associated with Tom Hall, who is one of the developers on Doom and such. And Deus Ex also. Man, um, Doom is uh, really popular again, which is cool. Uh, let's see. You did get the quest thing for, uh, did Jenny talk to you? Did you hear her over the info link saying, no. Jensen! You know, or whatever. No. I, do you need to interact with that little cache of weapons? I don't know. I made myself too drunk. I know. To see shit. This? No, it'd be the black box on the right. That. The right there. 
Okay, I guess not. I guess walking close to it was good enough. I mean, we've already killed pretty much everyone around here, so if necessary, you just walk back in here and examine it again or whatever, which you shouldn't have to. All right, now we're back to normal. Yep. All right, where do I go? Helipad? A helipad would work, yeah. Farida will take you out of here. Although, I'm trying to think. That might not be such a good idea. Because I'm trying to think whether that locks you into leaving Detroit at that point. You might want to leave on foot. That way you can go finish up uh, Jenny's mission and then report. Why would I want to stay in Detroit? <laughs> yeah, it's the obvious joke. I'm trying to think what else there is to do in Detroit. Because they're going to send you somewhere pretty soon. They sent me to Chicago. Uh, no. I th might be Grand Rapids, actually. Are you fucking serious? I think. I, I want to say it's still in Michigan. Or is it Cleveland? <clears throat> you are a factory of sadness! That's a great clip. It is. Very true, too. <laughs> the eternal factory of sadness. I have a coworker here that's a Cleveland Browns fan. Oh, my condolences. Oh, the Browns won last week, yeah. so good for that. They won without yeah. their quarterback or running backs. Nice job, Browns, I guess. I mean, you beat the Broncos, so who gives a fuck, but... Yeah, and of course I started Teddy Bridgewater on my fantasy team, and he did fucking nothing. Why do you have him on your team? Because my team sucks, Julian. Mm. It this was one of those... auto drafted. I was gonna say, is this one of those auto drafts I keep hearing about? They drafted me fucking Tua as my starting quarterback. He sucks. So I got rid of him. So It'd be hilarious if they magic. give you a Deshaun Fitz Watson magic. next. <laughs> right. I got Fitz Magic. He gave me less than a point and got <laughs> injured, so I had to get rid of him. Yeah. And then I picked up Bridgewater and Daniel Jones. Danny so, Derps, huh? Yeah. I don't know how the hell I ended up with fucking Tua as my quarterback. What yeah. a joke. I don't understand the point of doing that if it's auto-drafted. Uh, because I got roped into it by some friends of mine. Oh. So I don't know that those people are friends of yours, then. Yeah, well, no, I, the thing is, I didn't have to auto-draft, but the time difference is really bad, mm -hmm. and it wasn't going to work with my schedule to stay up for the draft. I think this hall so is electrified. Where am I supposed to well, go? Well, go check the door, see if it's electrified. Oh, no, good. Oh yeah, you need to pick up the crossbow that's in there to. Because um, remember, O'Malley says you got to use this to kill the guy, to um, you know, uh, and plant it or whatever, start a gang war. I have frag grenades, nice. Yeah. Huh. Jimmy. You need more space. It should tell you how much fucking space it requires. That'd be it's nice if it's on a little image thing. You could drop the stun gun ammo. I mean, when are you going to use... And the what tank ammo. Sniper ammo. You'll get a sniper rifle eventually. Or are you not planning to use it if you get ammo. one? You take the sergeant, bro. Sniper rifle is a coward's weapon. Still need more fucking room? Are you serious? That's, that's kind of surprising, actually. Can I go sell my shotgun really quick? <laughs> you can just drop it. There are tons of shotguns all over the place. The double barrel, though? Oh, no, not the double barrel. But the other one, there's tons of those. Should I get rid of which one? I mean, personally, I would get rid of the double barrel but just because it's not a very good gun. You know, I wouldn't keep it long term, personally. But I'm picking up my other shit. Okay, I think... Yeah. Son of a bitch. <laughs> oh, wait, you can use the, the ammo count upgrade. That'll clear up four spots. So I hit combine. Yep, and it'll allow you to choose which weapon you want to put it on. On what? What do you think? Mm, well, which one do you use the most that you hate having to reload? I mean, I like the rifle. Yeah, and the rifle ammo is pr is plentiful in this game. I will do that. Yeah. All right, fuck it. Fuck the shotgun. You're close to another level, too. Yay. So, you found the stash. You talked to O'Malley. You need to go to an apartment and take out Double T. Okay. Is yep. that the yellow? That's not the yellow. That's the, that's blue. the blue. There's a woman just screaming in the middle of the street. Okay, so did I tell you the story behind that? No. So I heard that same scream. And I was in an alleyway at the time near a basketball court. And my immediate thought was a woman is being raped and tortured somewhere under the city or in a building. Because it's an ear-catching okay. scream. It's not just your average, ordinary yelp, you know? It's not an eek mouse yell. Was she just getting dunked on or something? No, she doesn't exist. 
Turns out it's just a sound effect that's a reference to another game. I think System Shock 2, where on the space station you just hear that scream disembodied, you know? And I, I don't, maybe it's a sign the character's going insane or maybe there was something bad going on. The point is they put that scream in there just to reference a classic game. But I thought there was meaning behind it. So I was tearing Detroit apart trying to find this poor woman to save her life because it was just, you know, I'm, I'm Jensen. I got to go and save the innocents or whatever. And it's just, no. You would not believe some of the stupid shit I did. When we get to the basketball court, I'll tell you a story. You know. Okay. Because I was convinced How that she was... How the fuck do I get over there? Um, well... Uh, yeah, if you go around this corner on the right here... I'm also not sure what those two objectives are. One of those will be double T, and the other one will be what? Uh, one of those is below ground, it looks like, because the arrow's pointed down. So... You could go look at your map, I guess. Not a big fan of this game's quest markers. I don't use those myself. But, uh, yeah, map. Okay. So it's on this level. Fair enough. I don't know. Did I lose you? Yeah, I lost him. Good. Oh, you're back. I I can hear you the whole time, so... Yeah, so... I don't know who's it, you know, that was then. Anyway. So um, I guess I go here? Okay, that's his apartment. You don't need to go there yet. So you need to go to the other one. So if you hit up, I believe... Yeah. And up, and up again. If you see on the right there, it shows what floor it's on. So that's the one. So mouse over that and then hit down a bunch of times on the left stick. Alright, that's where you need to go. So you're really close. Yeah, the, system, the system is fucking stupid. You'll get used to it. You'll get used to it. Personally, I like the minimap system and the way it works, you know, where it, the triangle either points up or down based on what level it's on. I mean, that's fine. Yeah. I just don't like how the little objectives don't just say what the hell they are. Oh, that, them, yeah. Like, right now. It's... I mean, at least they tell you what quest they're for. You know, that does help. So it was actually at this oh, basketball guys. court. So if you look up and to the left, there's a balcony up there, and I thought... Well, this building's super secret. You know, there's obviously some shit going on. And that's where I heard the scream. So I started stacking dumpsters on top of each other to get up to that balcony. Because as you'll notice, the balcony near the court, there's no ladder there. You know. Right. I got all the way up there. There's no damn door there. Of course not. Yeah. I think that video's on YouTube still of me piling up dumpster after dumpster, going around the city, finding more dumpsters. I've heard of System Shock, too. I've heard it's good. It's supposed to be a classic, yeah. It's supposed to be very influential. Yeah. You have to oh, crouch Jesus. jump, I think. There you go. That was weird. I like the hexagonal tiles, though. Yep. <laughs> a little thief in the cobbler moment there. Uh, yeah, these guys are not your friends. Nice blinged out arm, homie. Now, I don't, I don't know if Jenny's talked to you, but she wants you to get double T non lethally. She wants you to avoid killing him. So I can kill these guys, right? Uh, you could, I guess. You, make a save here before you do anything, though, because I don't know for sure. Um, I don't think it's possible to talk to Double T. I don't think it's possible to reason with them to say, okay, I want you to turn state's witness. I'm pretty sure you can wax these fools. Simple enough. Yeah. And, hey, nobody noticed, so you took out one of them, and that's, well, that's good. Well, now somebody's going to notice. Ah, <laughs> uh, you killed uh, Double T. God damn it. So Double T's the one with the gold hair. So how am I supposed to take him out non-lethally if he's going to fucking shoot me? Well, stay around the corner and wait for him to come close and then melee him. This is number one bullshit. You can also take some painkillers to boost your health to 200 and then sprint at him and knock him out. What do you mean sprint at him and knock him out? Well, run at him. I can't melee him from the front, can I? Sure you can. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, no, it's, it's not a backstab thing. It's just a proximity thing. And a, you not you standing on the same floor as that guy thing. <laughs> Lack of tactical acumen. By these guys. It's okay. Let them come to you. 
Oh, wait, don't let the teammate kill Double yeah, T. Yeah, he's trying to shoot him in the back <laughs> of the head. Yeah. Can I shoot him in the leg or something? No, no, that, that would kill him. Not in one or hit, he's obviously. he's going to forget about me and go away. Well, you could, as I said, you could run at him and just knock him out. Why are you doing this? Are oh, you trying to lure him? to come closer. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think he's going to venture out after you would just wax five of his buddies in front of him. I mean, it's actually kind of baller that he's still standing here shooting at you. Why? Try to shoot him in the leg. Don't! You can't disable him that way. That's stupid. It doesn't work that way, brother. Also, do you think he's going to turn state's witness if you shoot him in the leg? He's not going to be happy about that. I don't care if you turn state witness or not. Well, Jenny does. No, well, Jenny can fuck off. Jeez, dude, she's the first girl to say anything nice to you. Yeah, well. Ooh, he's coming. As I said, if you just ran at him and hit the B button or whatever, you would knock him out, no problem. Got him. Yeah, look at that. What look a combination that. from Jensen. Yeah. He clipped him! Ow! Seven health, too. Ow, he's hurt! Yeah, nice job. Mm, to this. Victor, go the spoils. Give me all your shit, motherfucker. Mm -hmm. Run me your shit. I don't want machine pistol ammo anyway. Six bullets and two cartridges you got from those guns. I should have waited a little longer. They'd have ran out of fucking ammo. <laughs> I don't think it works that way. I know it doesn't. Yeah. It should, though. Yeah, I I just kind of wish there were realistic amounts of ammo on the enemies because sometimes it just gets stupid. Just, what do you mean he had one sniper bullet? <laughs> right. That's pretty obnoxious. Hey, a beer! Yeah, I was Cel going to take it. Celebratory yeah, beer? I'll take it. Yeah. What is this? <laughs> Gun yeah. under the pillow. Of course. I too sleep with Ooh, my a computer that you pillow. could hack probably. I don't think you know the password, brother. Who needs passwords when you have super elite hacks or skills like I do? Yeah, yeah, fair. Ah, Jesus. <laughs> you zoom out. Alright, so I'm going to go here. Mm -hmm. And then, what is it? Oh, I can't go that way anyway. So yeah. go here, here, here. Mm -hmm. Here, here. Ah, fuck. Yeah, you gotta go a long way. That's stupid. Yeah. So go here. First, I would go to that one folder, and then I'd go up. And then... Because that way you can fortify the folders it. along the route and slow down the... That's, the... What, that's what I'm doing. I'm going yeah, here. Yeah, that's what I mean. Yeah. Here, here. Mm hmm Here. And then uh, here. Yeah. Let's do it. Ah, shit. Do that's not fortify so first because it has a high detection. Yeah, I know. Yeah. I realized that. And it did not go. Balls. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'd say fortify both those. Oh, you got tons of time. Nice. You don't get to fortify that other one because it's already being captured. Balls. But that's okay. You got tons of time. You even have time to get those cubes if you want them. Wait, wait, wait. Now do it. Because the little globe thing captures a lot faster than the cubes do a lot of times. Yeah. Yeah, I and mean, if that, you capture the end thing before, if those bonuses get captured, you don't get the bonuses. Oh, shit. I like how the lockers and the gangsters' bathrooms are the same ones that are in the basement of the police station. That's a concussion grenade. Nice. Definitely are. Yeah. I also like they keep their grenades and their beer in the same spot. You're not going to take the concussion nade? Oh, you need to clear up space, right? Well, you're going to love it when you upgrade your inventory one last time. That'll be nice. Oh, yeah. All right, now where do I go? Uh, you need to go confront O'Malley. So, yeah. Does he call me a uh, foolish fool? Possibly, possibly. There's actually a lot of fun things you can do with him if you want, although at this point it's a little late. Yeah, you can't go through here. Dude, oh, this apartment here. Room. Oh, yeah, th these are merchants. I think you can. You might be able to buy a silencer off this guy. Oh, 
That's all they'll buy. I don't know. There's more shit. Yeah. Yeah. Don't sell the crossbow. No, I'm not gonna. Money, money, money. Money, 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 money. To quote that song from Breaking Bad. Hmm. That Jesse oh, is that the one where he's uh, laundering it through the dryer because he's gotten it wet? Oh yeah, probably. Probably. I was thinking about the the song that Jesse was blaring over and over in his house when he uh, was like all conflicted. When he was all conflicted, that's most the times. Of the show. Yeah. yeah, I know. Or Pinkman. She, I think it was right after Jane died or whatever. Yeah. Spoilers. Well, I've seen the show. Well, yeah, I didn't mean for you. I don't have an audience, Jonathan. It's fine. Yeah, so what do you want to put the silencer on? Probably my pistola. Where is oh, the silencer on the right? That's the, that's the crossbow. Pistol, huh? I mean, I can I, I will. I, can I will let this. you know this. I will tell you this. Uh, the silencer reduces the damage it does, but you can also boost the damage with upgrades. So you can make it so you can do a lethal silent headshot. Yeah, I'll put the pistol. All right, fair. It changes for me. Some playthroughs I put it on the pistol. Some playthroughs I put it on the rifle. There are only three or four silencers in the whole game, or something like that. That's stupid. Also, I think. Wait, did you have a shotgun right there? Yeah. Hmm. That's odd. I thought you could put the silencer on the shotgun. Nope. Maybe it's just in the... Uh, I think in the sequel you can. I had to get out of here. Well, uh... Out the window, I think. I don't think you get to go down the stairs. Yeah. This fault. There. Yep. There you go. Onto Elphira Scapo. Which is uh, Portuguese for the fire escape. Mm. Yep. I no knew that. All right. Rathiel. Well, we have a gal. And uh, yeah, this is a uh, well, he's apartment complex area. Time to hack. Time to hack, indeed. Uh, okay, let's go. Yeah, this looks pretty simple. Yep. Number one easy hack in UFC. Yep. This is number one easy fight in lightweight division. Yeah. I want to fight with your chicken. So I don't know what the button is, but you can use a stopworm to uh, slow down the enemy's progress. Yeah. I yeah. Use like, okay. the most. I think there's something in that little uh, little alleyway back there. I think. Possibly. Maybe. Ooh ooh ooh. There is something. There is. Uh, that's like a credit card more than something My money and there's also. candy yeah which you oh, need yeah, dude. for your biology car get into a van to get into that kitty or candy get into that kitty okay i meant to say get that candy. i know what you meant to say but i'm just gonna draw out how horribly you, you misspoke yeah uh, eight man I mean, football in kansas is very interesting this year i'm not quite sure there aren't there aren't as many clear-cut favorites this year there's a ton of teams that are interesting though yeah. Yeah. Hanover's lost three games this season for the first time since 2013. They beat the dog shit out of us my senior year. Yeah. Well, and it's the first time they lost three plus games in a regular season since 2006, 2005, actually. It's pretty crazy. Yeah. Son of a biscuit. I got lazy. On a beach. Are you fucking serious? It only waits 30 seconds, dude. Real life system, I think it would take longer. Or just be bricked permanently or whatever. Secure... Secure... Slur? Secure... How do you read that? Secure... Slur. It just, it just says X slur. Oh, X slur. Okay, secure... It, but it says secure up top. Yeah, I see that. Yeah. I don't know. Alright, you got it this time, brother. Be funny if it randomly rearranges the puzzle on you. Oh, it does. <laughs> I forgot about that. Hmm. Um. Every once in a while, a sound will come through. 
Oh, so right. you need to check out Amali's apartment. Give me your shit. One ammo. <laughs> I guess the guy's planning to off himself. Like, possibly. That or he that. thinks he only has one enemy and he trusts his aim completely. Oh. No, I can't hack that. Well, you can either look for a passcode. Or you could upgrade your hacking. Oh, pocket secretary. You got this. There. I got it. And, hey. So scroll through the various emails oh, and pockets. There's a door with the security yeah. lock on it. The code for... Oh, just scroll through. Yeah, and it'll give you all the codes that you need. That's good. <laughs> hey. It's nice that the game allows you to complete this shit without having the thing leveled up so you're not locked into getting hacking. Although I usually... Actually, oh, I forgot fuck. to mention that part. <laughs> Sorry, there are mines in here. What? Ah, oh, fuck. Why did you keep walking forward? There's more beeping. Well... I thought there was one mo it's it's coming through the TV. I can barely oh, hear yeah, that's it. That's right. That's right. If at all. That's why. Yeah. I thought there would be one, not mm. fucking like seven. Right. There are at least two, maybe three of them. You could shoot them from the room and be safe. Just don't stand right by the door when you do it. Or you could go in and disarm them. That was a pretty nice save right there. Uh well you still need to Son of a bitch. Oh no. <laughs> What'll you ever do? How do I throw a grenade? I don't know. It's Q for me, but who knows what it is for you. Um, I guess B. Got it. What is it? It's red bumper. Ah. You hear any more beeping? Well, you can't hear because game. Uh, it'll throw another frag. That's the throwable you have selected. I don't know if concussion grenades will no, I was off. I was switching off of my oh. frag. So you don't blow yourself up later? Yeah. Fair, fair. I don't hear any beeping, so. Oh, yeah, good. I was pulling off my headphone. Weapon there, stash. Crossbow ammo. Run me your shit, bitch. And we have nothing. Broke ass motherfucker. There. <laughs> yes. Guess I'll just hack, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, I guess. I thought I would have his password considering I just fucking stole his shit. Hmm. Being wise to keep the password and the code to the door on the same little pad. You're not going to get the bonus? I'm doing it right now. Okay. It looks like you weren't going to. You're just going to mess with my OCD. Yeah. I'm trying not to no. backseat game too much, but That's I'm fine. failing at times. Ooh, FEMA was in there. FEMA? Yeah, the agency. Mm. Doing fuck all? Oh, they do more than fuck all. I'm joking. Yeah. I don't mean the real you know, world. I don't like what uh, games PETA. that don't have mirrors. I don't like PETA. Oh, yeah, that's fair. Bunch of fucking assholes. One package of drugs. Mm -hmm. That's not vague at all. Well, what kind of drugs? What are we talking here? I don't. Know. I don't know. I have to capture both those green orby ones, right? Yep. 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 Damn. Yeah. Don't deal like time for the nuclear option. You do have eight nukes. Just trying to think if I should go through the middle or try to go around the outside. Um personally I would go the middle myself. But I would nuke the first thing. Yeah, too late. That eighty percent detection rate kinda of rough. But thankfully you do have a lot of time. No bonus, but you'll capture these easily enough. There you go. That'll work. Yeah. Give me your shit. Nuke fire software and shotgun rounds. Okay. So, oh, whatever. What else do I need to do? Nothing. You've got what you need, came for. You found evidence on O'Malley. 
Now you need to go to Jenny. And after that, you'll be able to wrap up the quest pretty quickly. So I watched a movie called The Departed recently, which is... Um, uh, have you seen this? Nope. It's a gangster movie, and it's got Matt Damon, Leonardo DiCaprio, Jack Nicholson, Martin Sheen, friggin'... I think Alec Baldwin's in there, too. Apparently he's been in the news lately. He shot somebody? Yeah, apparently with a prop gun on set or something like that. Yeah, it was loaded with real rounds. Yeah, that's... um. A little weird. Which, by the way, then on Twitter, apparently trending was Alec for prison, which... I don't understand how that's his fault. I mean, unless he put the bullets in there, it's just kind of... Yeah, prop gun. There's no evidence. Yeah. Well, I mean, no, even if you had all the evidence in the world, even if you know he did shoot the... That's not his fault in any way. No, I mean, if they had evidence that, like, he put... Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Or they knew what they were or whatever. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Did you get everything? Aren't you cold out here? Good hidden weather. I don't know, maybe she's an SP too. Or maybe she's wearing a full body outfit, but it just looks like flesh is being exposed. <sighs> you get to do all of these. It's not a pick your thing. I like the Harry Potter hexagon you've got on your forehead. It does look weird. I mean, it's on the wrong side, but whatever. You got anything else? No, it covers it. Also, <laughs> here's the weapon the dealer's murdered. <laughs> that sounds like it should have fallen under anything else. You'd think, yeah. That's no problem. Does that mean I get to kill him? You could. What, do I fucking work at Chick-fil-A? <laughs> Saying my pleasure. I would kill for some Chick-fil-A right now. Yeah. I will say that she wants you to bring him in alive if possible, but I get the sense that you want to Bronson this. Uh, you're going into DRB territory. <laughs> this is not where yeah, you need to go. Looks like it. Oh, what? Oh, that's right. The yellow one's the helipad. Mm -hmm. and yeah, you're like, you're going to DRB territory, and as there's all the gang members laying on the ground, <laughs> dead. Yep. Yeah, it looks about right. Yeah, I'm refamiliarizing myself with Detroit. Pretty much how it was when I went to Hillsdale. <laughs> yeah, so. What were you saying about The Departed? Um, also, before so, you continue, I hate Leonardo DiCaprio, and I think he looks like a fucking bitch. Mm. Go ahead. I mean, I can see how you'd think that. He's kind, of, he's kind of in that Brad Pitt pretty boy kind of category a bit, but he's a good actor. You know, he can perform. Um, like but anyway, star-studded cast. It's Martin Scorsese directing. Kind of a brutal movie, um, but it was enjoyable. It kept my attention the whole time. One of those guessing game yeah, type movies game. where you wonder, when you, was it him all along, Austin? Oh, you know, um, sort of deals. I thought it was good overall. You know. And Jack Nicholson is just having fun. Yeah, Jack Nicholson's good. Yeah, he's he's hey, he's, buddy. he's a star. You want to shoot some hoops? You, you want to do it, gentlemen? I want to fucking cross you up, boy. Okay, well, <laughs> you see, your strength has been enhanced, that. Jonathan. You got to, you got to rein it in a little bit. Jensen has to get used to his, uh, the power of his limbs. From, from, from three point range. Ah, oh, shit! Still too much. Hey, buddy. <laughs> Doink right off his Sorry head. He doesn't that. give a fuck. Sorry about that. Damn it! <laughs> I'm gonna make a basket. Hang on. Yeah. Hang on. Where'd the ball go? <laughs> what? 
It's around. Just make. Don't throw the dumpsters. Oh, come on. <laughs> It wasn't on purpose. <laughs> trying to find the ball. You pick up a dumpster and throw it, of course, they're not going to like that. Uh, what, was it his fucking dumpster? Does he own the goddamn place? It's my fucking basketball. Squatting here. Dunk on him. That doesn't mean he owns the place. Maybe not, but he thinks he does. No law out here, man. Who are you going to go to? Detective O'Malley to protect you? Up. He's just mad I would have crossed Just tell me you didn't... Okay, good. You got an auto save it, Jenny. Good. Boy, that... <laughs> that lag was nice. Yeah. Yeah, it does that when you load. Oh no, you're frozen. No, we lost him. It's definitely his internet again, though. All right, you're back. No, I was able to hear you the whole time, so. Yeah, but I wasn't able to hear internet. you, so it was your internet. The, that doesn't make sense. Well, I can also tell that it's not my internet because my stream didn't get interrupted. Yeah. So, uh. Oh, it was right there. It was. It was. It, you were close. Come on, Jensen. You're like 0 for 7. Mm. I'm about to get benched. Have you ever oh, I'm guessing man. You, I'm guessing you've only seen the original Alien and then Aliens, right? Let's ball go. Yeah. So, I won't spoil it, but. In Alien Resurrection, there's a scene in there where Sigourney Weaver has to throw a basketball behind herself, you know, over her head, and make it. And apparently, according to the legend, she did it on her first ever try and just walked off with a shit-eating grin on her face and just kind of, yep. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Good for her. And it wasn't, it wasn't you know, under the basket. I think it was at three-point line yeah. or farther. Nice. And they were thinking, oh, we'd do it with a special effect. And I guess she just said, nah, yeah, come on, I'll do it. So close. She got on the first try, huh? I guess. Or the first try they did it live anyhow. I'm not sure. And because the thing is, the shot went on for a while and the other actors had to stay in character and not just whoop it up, you know? Because it's the moment when the other characters are supposed to go, well, well, damn, that's impressive. You know? Colin Bank. Ah, shit. I'm not leaving till I make this. You just stack dumpsters next to it and drop it in from up there. No. <laughs> that's what I did. Ah, shit. Be hilarious if making that basket started a gang war. <laughs> Who's this white boy? Duncan. Bank. Carl Banks, the great Giants outside linebacker? No, just regular bank. Yeah. Making it? means I'm going to hit the backboard before uh, I make it. I see, I see. That's what that means. That means calling bank. Mm, gotcha. Oh, oh, that, I thought that one was going to make it. I love how vigorously the ball bounces all over the place, though. Yeah, it really does. I mean, mm -hmm. he's probably just straight up launching that fucking ball. All the air that was in Tom Brady's footballs was transferred into this one. Yeah, true. Yeah. Damn it! <laughs> hey, guys. The alert of a cop fire. Um, then I'd definitely make it. Yeah. He's on fire! That's a reference to NBA Jam. Yeah. I like that game. It's fun. Played yeah, for a second I thought that was a movie and then I realized, oh no, I'm thinking of that Space Jam thing. Oh, Space Jam? Yeah. Which I don't think I ever saw. Uh, it's alright. Yeah, whatever. Oh! That was right there. Yeah, it was. Space Jam was a good movie. Yeah, there's some dumpsters around. <laughs> Had Michael Jordan in it. Yeah. Charles the talented Gordon. actor. Ah, shit. Michael Jordan? No, he fucking sucks. Where's Kareem Abdul-Jabbar in Airplane, you know, legend. You're Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. Oh, come on. At, At least, least came back. Yeah. Oh, no, 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 no. Internet. Uh, fuck. No. Well, John can still hear me, uh, or so he says, so, you know. All right, I'm back. You make it? Yeah, no. <laughs> that one no, bounced. Well, I hit inside the rim. Yeah. It's fucking, it must be a double rim or some bullshit. Double rim, huh? There's just a layer of saran wrap over the top of it that you can't see. Yeah, they're just fucking... <laughs> that would be pretty oh, funny if on. someone had that set up in real life to make it look like you just rimmed every shot, even if it was dead on. Had a surface right, that was oh. so clear. Just drop it. Just put the dumpster down and walk away slowly. No, no, no. Are you fucking hustle. serious, dude? Oh, come on. Well, fuck me. <laughs>
Dude, I didn't even touch him. I literally dropped it in the same place. It I know was. they get alarmed went, though if you pick up a dumpster. He went and stuck his fucking foot underneath it or something. No, maybe. they get alerted if you pick up a dumpster. I killed those guys before I did my dumpster stacking. Well, this is quality. This is this is this is how it is. Mm -hmm. Hey, Jenny. The next time, save when you get there. That way. Yeah, you, I know. Yeah. That was just like how many prostitutes there are in this area. Not enough. Yeah. I think they all say different stuff, too. And no, I don't think you can hire any of them. I wasn't planning to. Well, just so as you know. Some games let you do that. I, mean, I think The Witcher, you can do stuff like that. I think. I have The Witcher 2 and 3. I need to play them. I started playing the first game and it was all right. And then Razor did a long ass video explaining how The Witcher is just plagiarized off another fantasy series shamelessly and without any credit whatsoever. You know, so I don't know. I mean, majority of fantasy series are plagiarized. No, this is yeah. really bad though. I mean, this is ridiculous. It's not just oh, you know, the dwarves are kind of similar to Tolkien's dwarves. No, it's the main character is basically all ripped off. It, the whole chaos versus order thing is ripped off. It, there's a ton of stuff. I mean, you, you'd have to watch the video. I mean, Razor does a good job breaking it down. Um, I mean, apparently the, he even had the same damn nickname, you know, for the main character. And further, the author denies being inspired by the Elric series or whatever, which is just patently ridiculous if you look at it. I mean, patently. Uh, it can go either way. Anywho, yeah. But hey, you know what? From what I've kn from what I've heard, they're good games overall. Hi, <laughs> uh, Jensen. And I tried to dunk it. Yeah, I saw that. Three pointer. Damn it! He just throws it too like flat. Oh, is there variance to how he throws it? No, I don't think so. I mean, I would assume not. Which makes you think I should be able to dial it in by now, but I haven't. Mm. <laughs> you missed the board? <laughs> yes, I did. <laughs> I feel like I need to be further away so I can try to get some kind of angle on it. Yeah. Three-pointer. Uh. Up to judge. If only it had that thing that uh, you have in the Spyro games where it has the little trajectory thing. You see the little yeah. dotted line? That arc? The grenades. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, Doug Flutie would have managed this by now. Ray and I uh, were doing a fun thing yesterday mm -hmm. where we were looking up who has a better touchdown interception ratio than Troy Aikman. It's pretty fucking hilarious. <laughs> I'm guessing it's lots of dudes. Of course, those stats oh, are all yeah. inflated because of, you know, how few interceptions get thrown nowadays because defensive Man, backs that was can't play. So close. It was. The ball is even being sympathetic. It's just, man, you were right there. Oh, come on! <laughs> uh. A little higher, a little lower. You notice how the ball has a grid thing going on with it? Yeah. You can pick it up, that little yellow grid. I think it's because of the way Adam sees the world. His robot eyes. Beep, beep. Bank. <laughs> if it got stuck up on the balcony, on the fire escape, that would have been hilarious. If it got stuck up on the fire escape, I would have given up. <laughs> Never give up. Never surrender. You've seen that movie, right? What? Galaxy Quest. No. Oh, really? You'd like it. Would I? Yes, yes. It's uh, basically an affectionate... Damn it! It's an affectionate little spoof of Star Trek and Trek fans. And it has... I've never watched Star Trek. Tim Allen. As Tim the Sig Tool Man. Sigourney Weaver. Sam Rockwell from Iron Man 2. My God! Most important. Iron Man 2? Uh, he's, uh, what's his face? Uh, he's the he's the glasses-wearing guy that tries to hire Mickey Rourke, and he does a good job in the movie. He's a secondary villain, basically. Um, but most importantly of all, Alan Rickman, isn't it? Rip. Yes. But he's great in the movie. He's wonderful. Uh, as Alexander... I believe is his name. I like Alan Rickman. Yeah, no, I mean, I don't know of anyone who doesn't like Alan Rickman. Bank. 
Nah. It's just how violently it bounces it off the board. So it's rejected so forcefully. It's just, fuck you. Fuck you. Nope. Fuck you. <laughs> fuck your belt. Yeah. Fuck John Anik. Ah. Hmm. I could like dribble and then dunk yeah. on this guy. Yeah. This is the one right here. Bang. That oh. looked so good. It looked perfect. It did. It looked like it was going. There. Are you sure the ball isn't just too big? Oh no, because I would get stuck. I mean, surely. You said you made it before, didn't you? Oh yeah. Ah shit. But as I said, I just stacked dumpsters next to it and dropped it in. If you really wanted to cheese it, you could just save before an attempt and then load each time and slowly adjust your mouse position. Not a bad point. Yeah. It would probably save me time overall. Possibly. Well, you don't want to move from that mouse position now. Now it's different. Yeah, it's okay. If it had gone in, that would have been so perfect. It was right there. Yeah. This reminds me how in Counter Strike Global Fuck Offensive, <laughs> in Counter Strike Global Offensive, you know they have these elaborate strategies where they'll throw smokes halfway across the map. You know it'll land in a certain spot, so it'll cover a certain place. And you know you have to stand in exactly the right spot, look down to see that there's a piece of debris on the ground that lines up just perfectly, then look at something on the wall, and then aim straight up, and then that'll allow you to throw the grenade with just the right, you know, angle and whatever, and it'll land in the right spot. Yay! I did it! Achievement! Yay! And it was achievement, too. Balls. <laughs> well, <laughs> in celebration... <laughs> that was now he throws it with some fucking angle, really? <laughs> well, he doesn't want you to start a gang war. Jensen's smarter than you are. Get fucking dunked on, son, you trash. <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought. You know, that lip piercing does not help. Dude looks like fucking Dennis Rodman with all mm -hmm. those piercings. Is he the one that gets no respect? No, that's Rodney Dangerfield. Never mind. Yeah, I don't know who Rodney Dangerfield is. I think he was a comedian, but I'm no expert. No, Dennis Rodman was a power forward. Uh, he's not the uh, practice guy, right? That's somebody else. That's Alan Iverson. Ah, okay. We talking about... Practice. Yeah. Not the game. Practice. There yeah, you I'm go. not a huge Iverson fan. I think he's you all right. You want to say before you talk to O'Malley? I think he's a little bit overrated, to be honest. Not a very efficient shooter. So you're going to go in lethal or non-lethal, you think? All right. Fair enough. What's up, pussy? <laughs> oh, is that so? Yeah, like your death. <laughs> Oh. You don't accept defeat? Well, these feet gonna go up your ass. Yep. I was gonna say, if you lose a gunfight to O'Malley... He had nothing on him? What are you, a broke bitch? Eh, yeah, you know. Yeah, there's a gun with one ammo again. <laughs> mm -hmm. What's he got in the fridge? 
Oh, oh shit. You can't open the fridge. You can just pick it up. It's actually a habit of mine. Every apartment I break into, I move the fridge into the living room and just put it on a table or something. Just be a goof. Or take all the fridges out in the middle of the apartment complex and drop them down the stairs and form a giant pile. That is something actually you can do because you visit his apartment earlier. You can pr place the refrigerator behind his desk where he's normally standing and he'll be standing next to the fridge. <laughs> You can also set up mines behind his desk so that when you approach him, blown up. well, you could blow him up, you could gas him, you could concuss him, you could do different things. That's pretty neat. Yeah, it is. It's pretty slick if you know what you're doing ahead of time. Just like DRB territory where you just wax everyone and then walk in undetected, you know? And unexpected, I might That's add. Smart. Yeah. Mm. It's a good combo. You know, it's all right. You might say that you know it's I, aviation. You know I ate earlier deviation. today. Uh, not a night witch, but uh, I don't know what. Rish. Um, I had some turtles, dude. They're so good. Aw, nice and crisp. Sure. Yeah. That's not my fucking problem. <laughs> well, at least she's understanding about it. At least she says, "She says, okay, I trust you." I mean, he wasn't going to give up. No. Well, you could still have knocked him out, you know. You could have neutralized him non-lethally. Yeah, I could. Maybe next time you could take him in non-lethally. It's fine, you know. Next time you play the game. It's okay. Not as if you failed or anything. At the end of the day, there's one less drunk in the world. Fewer. Ah, ta 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 Now, have you ever seen L.A. Confidential? No. Okay, it's a good movie. Never even heard of it. Ah, it's very good. Got uh, Russell Crowe and uh, what's his face, uh, James Cromwell from uh, Babe. You know, Farmer Hoggett in it. Kevin Spacey's in it. Now that I think about it. Guy Pierce, like a pedophile or something. I believe so. I believe that's the accusation, anyway. You know that uh, Russell Crowe almost got his ass kicked by a former UFC heavyweight champion. You're going into DRB territory again for no reason. I have to go there. Strictly speaking, you don't have to, but fine. Yeah, Frida will take you back to where you need to go. This is not the way, brother. Yeah, but did you know that... Also, if you stand on top of a flaming trash can, you'll burn. Uh, further, if you go back, turn around. On the corner on the right, I believe there's something you can loot. But no, I never knew that he almost got his ass beaten. Yeah. It's, what, uh, what was the context? Andre Arlovsky uh -huh. was the former UFC heavyweight champion. Yeah. He still fights right now, too. He's like 40. That's uh, uh, yeah. And uh, he was a fan of Russell Crowe, but he didn't speak very good English. Oh. Because I don't, I don't remember where he's from. But he tried to uh, approach him mm -hmm. in like a nightclub or something they were both at yeah. and tried to get a picture with him. And uh -oh. the bodyguard of Russell Crowe got like physical with, <laughs> with Arlovsky, right. who is, I think like, let me look at how big Andre Arlovsky is. Yeah, because he has to be. Let me see, he's got to be six three or six four. Sure. And when he fights, he fights at heavyweight. Mm. So he's not a little guy. I don't know. Usually, usually like two forty. Right. But when he's walking around, he's probably more like two seventy, two sixty five. Yeah. So he's a brick shit house of a guy. Yeah, and he's a fucking trained killer. Mm hmm. Arlovsky height six three. Yeah, and it, you okay? So he fights at two forty. So yeah, he probably walks around at about two sixty. And I guess the bodyguard started to get physical with him, mm -hmm. and uh, so Arlovsky just kind of took the high road and just didn't, you know, beat the shit out of his bodyguard, and uh, just kind of left him alone. But yeah, he would have absolutely fucking destroyed Russell Crowe if he wanted to. Which is funny. Also, Brian Urlacher almost got in a fight with Boss Rutten, who was also a UFC champion. Yeah, because Brian Urlacher's brother was being kind of a dick. Ooh, in a club. Dear, dear. Because Boss's friend accidentally like stepped on Urlacher's brother's shoe or something. Ooh. And Urlacher and his boys asked if they wanted to take it outside, and Boss Rutten just laughed in his face. Mm -hmm. Well, and to said quote, yes. to quote a Sylvester Stallone character, "I don't step on toes, I step on necks." Yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah, I think Which that's. Like that? I think it's Cobra. 
never seen it. I haven't seen it either. I know Razor's a big fan. But yeah, it's just funny how, like, uh -huh. some dudes almost got smacked around. So, uh, yeah, back here in DRB territory. Not bad, not bad. That's where I like to be. <laughs> really? <laughs> that door frame absorbed that bullet quite nicely. Mm -hmm. Also, I will say, you get more XP for uh, non-lethal takedowns, too. I'm sure you do. Yeah. You know, just a thought. Come on. Come on. All right, that second one was just a bad shot by you. <laughs> okay. Forgot about the crash button. There's an ebook on the barrels there. They'll give you some XP. Dollar. Ugh. Yeah, those two stories I just saw in a video the other day. There, yeah. Like top ten beefs between celebrities and MMA fighters. Mm -hmm. That was kind of funny. And actually, yeah. Boss Rutten said afterwards that he and Erlacher and all his guys ended up like you know sorting everything out. Mm -hmm. And he actually doesn't like telling that story because it makes Erlacher look bad. And he yeah. said Erlacher's a nice guy. Oh, yeah. So he doesn't usually like to tell that story. If you You're going backwards. It. Yeah, I know. I'm trying to figure where I'll talk to you at all. Yeah. DRB territory got me turned around several times when I first played it. It looks weird to see Erlacher has hair. Yeah. Looks strange. Trying yeah, to he should stay perpetually bald. Where the fuck am I going? Well, you could go through this vent here, and that'll eventually take you to where you need to go. So I don't like RPGs sometimes. <laughs> Depends lost. on the RPG, but yes, uh, don't go down. Remember, go up the yeah, boxes. Right. Yeah. Oh, I want Chipotle. What is that? It's food. What it's kind like, of food? It's like, uh, you've had Subway, right? I mean, sure. So it's kind of the same method as subway like you pick all the different things you want as they pass mm -hmm. your little either like a bowl yeah. of food or a burrito but it's not a sandwich line. every time no it's not a sandwich at all mm. but it, you can pick a burrito or a bowl ah, the i got bowl you. gives you more food so i usually get a bowl and a side tortilla and i just make my own burrito and have some left over sure, yeah. um and you pick like your little donkey you know, what kind of rice you want you pick what kind of meat? They have chicken. They got steak. They got sure, yeah. other stuff. I usually just get chicken. And mm -hmm. then they have um I'm still really happy beans. about that cheese I found out to make my quarterback have a higher break tackle rating. <laughs> or or here's the cool thing, too. You can increase his carry rating so it doesn't fumble as much. That is good. Yeah. Um, And then you can get, like, beans. They have, like, black beans, pinto beans. And then you mm -hmm. can get, like, cheese and lettuce and sour mm -hmm. cream and stuff. Yep, yep, That's yep. what Chipotle is. Kind of like a burrito place. Um, okay. It just sounds good right now because I'm drunk. We're drinking, not drunk. Mm -hmm. You're working on it. You're working on it. Two beers. Yeah, I have a ways to go. But my tolerance should be super low because... Are you trying to get I drunk? Had any alcohol. Yeah. Why? Because I want to. Okay, I was just curious. Am I going the wrong way again? Yeah. Jesus. Fuck! <laughs> I like can see little game. blades of grass poking up through the inside of that shipping container. Yeah. I don't mean fuck this game. I mean fuck this specific part. Yeah, yeah. It's stupid. It's, it's okay. You'll, you'll get there. Can I get up there? Uh, not from that. Not that way. <sighs> okay, you'll get it. Here? No. I do love level of detail in these worlds, though. Yeah, I would like to actually find where the hell I need to go. We'll get there. We'll get there. Patience. Patience, brother. Brother. Yep, 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 yep. See, this is why I don't like RPGs. I get <laughs> fucking lost. It's yeah. a waste of my time. How many RPGs have you actually played? And RuneScape doesn't Several. count, obviously. Several. The Jazz? Fallout, Skyrim, yes. Yeah. yeah, those are much more open world, but yeah. 
and I get less lost in those games. I don't know what it is about. Well, that's because you're just exploring all the time. You're always somewhere. This game is there. You can get lost because there's somewhere you're supposed to go. Yeah, this bitch has been waiting here for like six hours. Hey, she's a patient woman, is Rita. Yeah, she should be a lot more mad with me. No. Maybe she's too high in trade agreeableness. Probably. Yeah. Rita's the gal Jensen deserves, but not the one he gets. Because he doesn't get any girl. Because that's just Jensen's fate. It's depressing. Yeah, I know. It became a running joke on my stream. Just that Jensen never gets laid and he never has any luck with any girl ever. I mean, literally, later in this game, you save some hookers from getting extorted and or killed. And the gal just gives you some credits and then asks if you want to do another job for her. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Hookers, not even hookers? Not that I want, you know, that necessarily, but it's just I wish Jensen would have some happiness in his life. Yeah, I wish we'd all have some. Yeah. Well, after everything he's been through, getting ripped apart and you know his girlfriend taken away and all that jazz, just, I mean, the poor son of a bitch has had to deal. And he's got Pritchard to deal with, you know. There's all sorts of things. All right, so uh, yeah, you're on to the next mission. Why does Pritchard sound like such a little bitch all the time? He is a little bitch. I mean, but all the time. I love Pritchard, but the thing is, he is annoying, you know. Yeah, just a sec. I'm doing something on my phone. I gotta grab another beer. Oh, you got that Uber yeah. Drinks app that's gonna bring you a beer? No. How long before there's an Uber just, Drinks? Probably. I just saw a video. Do you know who Internet Historian is? Now you mentioned this individual. No, wait, Mom mentioned this guy. Yeah, I sent her a video about yeah, it. Yeah. About the cruise liner that crashed and stuff. Uh, uh. I thought she would like it. I think you would like it too, the Possibly. videos he makes. But yeah. I think you'd really like the the videos he made about Fallout 76 and No Man's Sky. They're really good. Hmm. Just going through like all the fuck-ups that those studios had. I haven't played either games. game, so I don't know. Yeah, they hmm. were both disasters. Fallout 76 is worse, though. Mm, um, wow. No worse. Man's Sky was... Off. Well, I'm getting all these no spam Sky... emails on my phone that are obviously just trying to steal all my info. Yeah. So from Nazrin nine seven seven zero four one at gmail dot com, Rumana Fatima one twenty at gmail dot com, and Gil Bethany nine two four at gmail dot com. Just, yeah, I don't think so. And they're all sending me multimedia messages. That it's just basically a link. Yeah. It's annoying, but uh, I mean, oh, No Man's yeah. Sky eventually became good, like two oh, years nice. after it came out. Nice, but nice. No, Fallout 76 has been fucking dog shit the whole time. Mm. And now, they're really like... Is that an online only no, game or... No, Fallout 76 you can play online or mm. single player. Man. That was like the big draw that it was supposed to be the first Fallout you could play online with your friends. But mm. they implemented the multiplayer in like the shittiest fashion. Yeah. Um, but yeah, the game fucking sucks. And they're really bad about microtransactions. Like, they really push you towards that by making the game really grindy and stuff. Hmm. Which is oh, don't play the damn game. Oh, I'm never going to play it. Yeah, it's just, boom. I don't even... Some of my favorite Angry Joe videos. I think I've got like Fallout using... through Fallout 4. I don't think I have 76. I think I bought them in a Steam Fallout. sale a while back. Fallout 3 and New Vegas are great. That's what I've heard, although they're buggy Fallout as hell. Fallout 4. Yeah. yeah. Fallout 4, I haven't played yet, so I can't yeah. say, but... I really like New Vegas. So here, there's no penalty for getting detected outside of the fact that you have to fight. So if you want to bronze in this, I suppose you could... All right, that was quick. Say no more, brother. Yeah, I mean, fair. Take me out. Fucking good luck. Mm-hmm. You guys ain't shit. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Yeah, the body armor protects those guys pretty well. I would not peek with five health. I'm not gonna. Have you checked to see whether you could upgrade your uh, your skills at all? No. There's a guy coming around the corner, I think. Yep. Yep. 
That would have been a clutch shot if you nailed it. You know, I hit him. I didn't kill him. No. And I shot at nothing just now. That's true. Nothing hasn't played Counter-Strike in years, I'm told. Nice job. That was a pretty funny animation, too. Mm -hmm. Looks like he was swimming there for a moment. You're the king of single-digit health, man. I am. Just as long as that digit doesn't go down to zero, you're okay. Yep. Oh, fucking <sighs> really? Jensen takes 17 fucking hours to throw a grenade. He does. He does. Fucking bullshit. Yeah. All right. I got to be right back. Right. Ugh. How many beers does this kid need? Yeah, I think you would like Internet Historian, though. Yeah, maybe. I must have bumped the button when I was going to sit down. Oh? I just concussion grenaded myself. Oh. Yeah, it'll do it. Barry McCockner, I actually might hate college football overtime rules more than I do NFL overtime rules. I wonder why. I thought the college overtime rules weren't that bad. Wait a second, wait a second, though. It says... Unless they've changed or something. Well, I think they must have changed. It says the first two overtimes are fine, but this two-point thing is ridiculous. What are the college football overtime rules, then? Because they used to be fine. Overtime rules. Okay. Made shortening overtime its mission since Texas A&M beat LSU 74-72 to in a seven-overtime game during the 2018 season. Okay. Exciting as the game was, it was long. More than 200 snaps were played, which is certainly not ideal for the players on the field. Okay, that is true, but still. So, how is the... Da, 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 amended its overtime rules, blah, 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 additionally. Okay. Teams are now required to run a two-point conversion after a touchdown beginning in the second overtime period. Previously, that began in the third overtime period. Okay, big deal. Additionally, teams will begin running alternating two-point conversion attempts if the game reaches a third overtime. So it's essentially a one-play drive. The goal of this is to limit the number of plays run from scrimmage by each team. That sounds like shit. And trying to justify it with, there was a seven overtime game. Said, yeah, one out of how many? You with me? Yeah, I'm here. Because it used to be just, you know how college football overtime works? Yeah. Okay, never mind then. So I used to like that. I, I thought that system was fine. It. I thought it was good too. Yeah. I changed it, but. Yeah, whatever. Fuck it. I mean, honestly, if the NFL went to the old college football overtime rules, I'd be fine with that. I'd say, yeah, that's fair. It's reasonable. Yeah, same number of possessions. Makes sense. Yeah, it is yeah. kind of weird. I'm yeah, that's what it is. It went to seven overtimes. I don't get what that means. What do you mean it went to seven overtimes? So they mean like seven attempts by each team to score in overtime? Is that what they mean? Okay, maybe I do need to explain college football overtime rules. So the way college football overtime works is... Well, I know how it works. I'm saying as far as the how you go into the next overtime, if that is the consideration of the next overtime, is if someone doesn't... If neither team gets one. No, 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 no. The way it works is um, each team has a possession, and you keep doing that until one of the teams takes the lead after two possessions. So if the other team scores right. a touchdown in their possession and I score a touchdown in my possession and we both kick the extra point, then we have another two overtimes after that. Or and another is two that possessions. Considered the next overtime. That is the next overtime period, yes. Okay, that's what I was asking. Yes, yes. yes. Yeah. Which I again I'm down with. I think it makes good sense. 
Eh, fuck it. That's like, come on. It's not that many more plays. Fuck it. Well, no, that game, that game was ridiculous, actually, though. When you stopped and look at it in no, aggregate. It's football. Be a fucking man. I know that. My point would just be, look, that is such a crazy outlier that to use that as the yeah, reason for changing the rules, edge. that doesn't make a lot of sense to me. You want to bank a grenade off the crate there or something? Yeah, I'm thinking about it. Yeah. If you hit the frame of that window and it bounces back in. Oh, wow. That was going to be hilarious. Nice job, though. You got one of them. What the fuck? He wasn't... How is he not dead? He got blown the fuck up. And I shot him two or three times. Yeah, I know. You, you, you spared nothing. Yeah, come to that door, motherfucker. Oh, he's coming. Really? But he wasn't a pioneer. I'm coming. Mm-hmm. I need to watch the next Alex Jones, Joe Rogan podcast. Yeah. Could we please just have one that's just the two of them? Yeah, I don't like Eddie Bravo being in there. No, I haven't watched the other one that had some other guy on it. It's just... Eddie Bravo's a fucking idiot when it comes to stuff outside of jujitsu. Yeah, I mean, sounds fair. I mean, he doesn't seem like a guy who lacks all entertainment skills, but it just seems that for that particular combo, it doesn't work, you know? He's a amazing at jujitsu. He's yeah. just you know, smart about anything else. Yeah, which hey, whatever, you know, just not the right guy for that particular setup. But oh, he believes in flat earth, so therefore we have to have him on with Alex Jones. Just who gives a fuck? Yeah, it's a weird choice. Yeah, He's oh, well. actually Tony Ferguson's jujitsu coach. Hmm. Really? Well, now I see how he's really? very educated, motherfucker. Yeah, right. I chopped his fucking legs off with that shotgun. He was wearing knee pads. Yeah. Deflected all of it. Yep. Well, not deflected. Some of it was absorbed by the knee pads, obviously. They're high quality. Very educated motherfucker. Mm-hmm. So maybe you could do a stealthier approach where you don't shoot a glass window out and alert everyone. Or that, you know, I mean. Unable. <laughs> I like how there's shattered glass at the foot of the other window, even though it hasn't been shot out yet. Nice shot. Thanks. The guns in these games do feel pretty good after a while. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the suppressed uh, handgun is pretty nice. It's useful. Obviously, helmeted enemies are a different animal, but you know what? Hey, while well, these guys just have their ski masks on, get wrecked. I like that your gun is smoking, too, even though you haven't fired it in ages. I guess that's maybe why the, the sights are glowing. They're just hot. Forged in the fires of Mount Doom. Those are night sights. I know what they are, John. But they're still very, very glowy for as much light as there is around you. That's true. Also, I like how they're yellowish-orange and not green. This whole game is yellowish-orange. <laughs> that is 100% true. It used to look worse, apparently. And before the director's cut, it was really yellow. I mean, you'd have to go back and look at old videos of it to understand just how saturated it was. What the fuck? <laughs> hey, buddy. Ring around the rosy. Yeah, I was trying to kite around and get my shotgun out. Fair, yeah. Or me, oh shit, motherfucker. So, on, so next week, Monday, is a Scholars Bowl, and I'm going to be a judge. We get out of school early for that at 1.30, so that's nice. And I get paid for being a judge. Nice. Yeah. Um, then we'll have a full day of school on Tuesday. Then no school Wednesday, but it's conferences, which go from, I think, 10 until 7, 10, 10 a.m. to 7 p.m. or something like that. Sucks. Long ass day for conferences. Yeah, I mean, at my last school, I will say what they did was conferences were from four to eight. Now, granted, our school is smaller, you know, so we didn't have as many parents to show up or whatever. Yeah. Um, and then we would get the next day off. You know, yeah, you should get the next day off. Which, which I didn't really care about because whatever. I, I walk home at sure. eight. Big fucking deal. I wake up the next day. I'm ready to go to work. But we had the next day off. So fine, whatever. Here we're gonna be there till seven on Wednesday, and then. Full day of school Thursday and then day off Friday. I'm thinking, why didn't you just put conferences on the Thursday and then have Friday off? You know, I mean, 
I don't know. But what I'm going to do is Thursday, I'm going to take half of Thursday off so I can drive out to a certain town in the northeast of Kansas to watch uh, the boys I coached last year play their final game of the season. And for most, for a lot of them, their final game ever. Uh, that would be good. Long ass drive. Four and a half hours to get out there. And after the game, three hours to get to mom's place. So that'll be fun. Shows that you really like those kids. <laughs> I do, you know, and it's their last game. And, you know, here's crucially the thing. I could have gone to one of their games in the town that they play in rather than this road game, but they actually have a chance to win this game, unlike the games they played at home. <laughs> I Well, look, they were going to... Well, they, it turned out they forfeited it, but they were going to play the number two ranked team in the classification. They are not winning that game. They're not going to score in that game, period. They're not good enough. And that other team is just really damn good. That team, I don't know. I don't know about their coaching, but their talent is state championship caliber talent. Not good for them. Yeah, no, it's true. They're fine, you know, and they work hard, obviously. But, um, yeah, no, I'd like to go go see the boys. The one super positive thing I can say about it is that I'm going to stop at Texas Roadhouse in Topeka. <laughs> yep. Yeah, I've got my... Can't wait to go to Texas Roadhouse. Ah. Uh, going to be great. Just like George Lucas and Steven Spielberg. It's going to be great. 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 Yeah, it's gonna be great. <laughs> Those two knuckleheads. What is it? An energy pack? Uh, that's for this. That's It's a certain weapon or ability you have where you can throw a little ball of energy at someone and knock them down or whatever. AKA something I never used because it didn't kill people. Yeah, no. yeah, that guy has a sniper rifle. You might want to be aware what he's up to. I don't know that he sees you there, though. Also, you really should check your practice points at some point and see if you want to upgrade your, your Jensen at all. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it's going to be half part day of school and then Scholars Bowl Monday. Full day school Tuesday, conferences Wednesday, then a half day on Thursday, slash be on the road for seven and a half hours, Texas Roadhouse and football game. And then Friday I'll have off, spend that with mom, but Saturday same thing. And uh, then uh, come back here that Sunday and yeah. Pretty eventful time. Yeah, yeah, it'll be what it'll be. Yeah, you should upgrade your Jensen. Oh, I can upgrade my ammo on something. That's true, you could. You know, you haven't been using the combat rifle much, I gotta say. I don't have a lot of ammo for it right now. That's true, that's true. We'll get more later. Oh, you have no revolver, huh? I just dropped it. I don't want it. No, you have the... Re wait, you dropped the revolver? Mm -hmm. Oh, I thought you just what? dropped the ammo. I thought, wait, didn't you have a revolver earlier? Okay, fine. Is it good? I like the revolver personally, but you know what? There are plenty of good guns in this game. The sniper rifle takes up a ton of space. You need to upgrade your inventory if you want that sniper rifle. Even if you dropped all non-essential items, I don't think you're going to manage it. Well, maybe now, but... You might be able to manage it now. Let me see. Do I have any of that dumb shit? Uh, no, I don't have any machine pistol. Wait, what is this? That's the crossbow and arrows, yeah. That shit. There you go. Give me a shit. Yeah, it does take up a fuckload of room. That's kind of bullshit. Again, upgrade your Jensen. Okay. Do it. You got three whole points, dude. Let's think about this. What's uh, what's most important? Inventory. Okay. You could get the mod that takes away all fall damage. Nah. Unless it's something I can get as well as the inventory. Well, that? uh, it's the parachute one on the back. I think you just need two points for that one. Which yeah, would still allow you to get inventory. Where's the inventory one? Up. Well, inventory is the arms. It's the strength one. It's the flexi. Okay. And then just this one. Yep. And this will take away all fall damage. Oh, yeah. 
So you could jump down from here and be safe. Motherfuckers like a ninja. Real ninja. Motherfucking ninja Gaiden. American ninja warrior. Real motherfucking ninja. The eternal question. Ninja or Marianja? Ginger, right? Ginger or Marianne? Ginger, right? Oh, well, I said ninja or Marianja. I know. Okay, okay. I'm saying I would pick ginger. Oh. You see, it's been so long, I don't remember which one's which. Oh, yeah, the camera sees that body, so an alarm goes off. Ginger's the redhead. Um, yeah, ginger is the, the sultry one. Marianne is the girl next door. Fuck. Or the girl next hut, or whatever. I think, uh,. Don Wells plays Marianne, and I think Tina Louise plays Ginger, I want to say. They're probably dead. I know Don Wells has passed away. I don't know about Tina Louise. I gotta get rid of all this. Tina Louise. I know she's still alive, is uh, Tina Louise. She's, uh, how old is she? Getting up there. She is 87. Wow. Yeah. Why? I don't get why people choose to be that old. What do you mean? I don't plan to be 87. What, are you going to kill yourself if you get that old? Yeah. Why? Are you not? No, I'm not going to commit suicide, no. Because I don't want to be that old. Why? Well, it's more so performance-based. In terms of what? Like if my memory starts to go, that kind of stuff. Would you notice that? Yeah. Hopefully. I mean, maybe you would, maybe you wouldn't. I mean, if you don't remember shit, you don't remember. I'm not guaranteeing I'd be able to realize it, but if I do realize it... I don't know. I don't know, man. I mean, that's pretty dark, I think. At that point, it's not worth living. Is it not? I don't think so. I, mean, I don't know. I and mean, by that time, maybe you have... Uh... I, oh, Jesus, this sniper rifle zooms in really far. Like, if my family has to take care of me for everything, and I'm just a burden on everybody, yeah, I'll just kill myself. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, is that really something they'd appreciate? I'm not saying I'd shoot myself. No, I didn't say shoot yourself, but, you know, if they knew that you offed yourself not to be a burden, I don't know. I mean, I don't know, because I, you know, Mom and I went down to visit Aunt D for a few days in Texas, you know, and look, they, there's no getting around it. Having to take care of her was a burden in a literal sense. It was, some, it was a load that had to be carried by, especially her two daughters, uh, mm -hmm. Michelle and Deborah. And their families. And you know, while yes, it costs money, and yes, it took their time and all that sort of thing. Um, you know, obviously it's not something you want, but there's something beautiful about it. And I think it strengthened the bonds within the family. And, um, you know, and obviously no one wants to have to be cared for like that, you know. Um, no one wants to go through the sorts of things that Andy went through. Because she, you know, it was, it was rough. But, yep. I don't know, it's hard it's to explain. It, it is situational, yes. Um, I, would say, I would say reserve judgment on that. You know, the whole, if I was a burden, I'd kill myself. Because I don't think that's the way to think about it. Um, Depends on how much of a burden I am. Yeah, I suppose so. I don't know. And there's no way in hell I'm living in a fucking nursing home. If I have kids or whatever and they try to put me in a nursing home, I am 100% offing myself. I'll mm. never live in a nursing home. Well, maybe nursing homes will be better in the future. Well, as they're constantly set up, I, are you fucking serious? You got waxed. Yeah, you got, got dare, I say, dare I say, John, you got hoed. Yeah, I did. Kind of like Tim but Tebow if, rushing for 500 yards on your ass. If, uh, if whatever they're called, nursing homes are the same way they are now mm -hmm. in the future, that I'm not fucking living in one. Well, you know, 60 years from now, who knows? Yep, who knows? Who knows?
Anyways, so Tina Louise is old, and she played Ginger, and there we go. Yep. Good talk. That's always, that's been my plan for a long time. It's not like a new thing either. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, well, we'll see. At that point. You know, it's like, look at Grandpa, right? Yeah. Someone who is so defined by his intelligence that if he had gone, obviously he was there pretty much all the way up to the end. Yeah. You know, which is great. I'm glad that was the way it went. Um, but if he had been, you know, like stricken with dementia and things like that, he wouldn't have been himself anymore. No, it would have been incredibly hard. Yeah, no doubt about that. Right. Yeah. I don't think that's fair to that person or to their family to see that or deal with that. Well, what, what's fair? In most situations. Oh, well, yeah, but what's fair? I mean, life is tragic and full of suffering. And the fact that there's yep. any happiness in it at all is kind of amazing. Um, yep. You know, I... And why should I make my family suffer more on my account? Yeah, you but also I'm deny them the opportunity myself. to show you a kind of love that otherwise they'd never have the opportunity to. Which again, as I've said, there's a great deal of meaning in that. And it does bring people together. And it can heal wounds that otherwise you could never approach. What, what I'm saying is that there's a lot that goes into it. And I don't think it's just a, this costs X amount of money or takes this amount of time or causes this amount of, you know, No, it's pain. mostly based on my condition. I know, I know. Well, I know, but... You'd make that based on your condition and say, okay, this condition is what I have. This is how much trouble it's causing, whatever, you know. I think there's a lot more to it than some sort of calculation. I think there's... And spiritual might not be the right word, but something close to that. You know, there's a lot going on. Um, sure. Yeah, we'll see, though. Look, 60 years from now, who knows? You know, maybe they'll have the whole... Maybe you could be like Adam Jensen and have all the robot limbs and you'll be fine. Maybe Pritchard will adjust your memory so you remember all the shit and you'll be okay. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know. And I don't want to live forever either, you know? Like, they're saying that the first person... You can't drown, you fool! You're immortal! Yeah. They're saying that, like, the first person that will never die is already born. Hmm. This is the stuff they're claiming with how far we are with technology right now. And yet the commie cough is deadly to all life forms and has to be... I'm, I'm with you. Yeah. Um, but I'm just saying, if that's the case, hmm. and... Theoretically, if that stuff were to come to mainstream use, and I'm assuming it would just be hoarded by celebrities and politicians, you know, because that's how it goes. Maybe. But if I had the opportunity to do that and not die of natural causes, I wouldn't do it. Because mm. that's not living anymore. It's not. Is it? It's, what is life if there's no death? You know? <laughs> well, I, 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 I think you go a little extreme with that, but it does make me think of uh, Lord of the Rings, where the elves obviously are immortal. Yeah. Uh, unless they're killed, obviously, um, right. and the and the humans envy them for that. They envy their eternal life and so forth, and the fact that they get to go live with the gods anytime they feel like it. If uh, they decide to leave Middle Earth, whereas the humans don't get that chance. Uh, but on the other hand, the elves are envious of man because man doesn't have to stay on the world out in the world forever, and they eventually get kind of tired of it. So you could go either way with that, right? I mean. I'm just saying. I if you die, to... you live too short, and if you live forever, you live too long. You know, it's just there'll always be something to complain about. You know. Yeah, no, I get it. Yeah. I'm just saying, I wouldn't want to do that either. Maybe not. Maybe not. I mean, I tell people all the time, I'm never going to die. I mean, I haven't died yet. Why should I start? You know. Hundred percent success rate. I'm not dying so far. By the way, I intend to keep it going. That's like my former coworker who said you have a 50-50% chance of winning the lottery because you either will or you won't. <laughs> okay, I don't think he understands how probability that's works, but that's whatever. That's not how probability works at all. But I don't know. It's uh, favorable person. outcomes divided by total outcomes. Yeah, that guy's a dumbass. Yeah. <laughs> Does he actually believe that? He's not joking. Dude, he's argued that so many times. <laughs> that guy was an air traffic controller, by the way. Yeah. Not a good one. No. It was one. No. Well, I hope he's selling hot dogs somewhere. His you... family's loaded. He never has to work. Well, good. Good for him. That way he doesn't have to be a menace on society or on the military. No. Thank God for their money keeping him out of any position of responsibility ever. Yeah. Dude's 
got a DUI in this fucking red Hummer. I like how they show you what these levels look like in advance. Also, the elevator's going to stop at this floor, so be ready. Okay. Just so as you know, if you have an imp grenade, you can take out the big robot pretty easily. You have an imp grenade. The blue one. That is a hack tool. That is not an imp grenade. <laughs> no, not that blue one. The other blue one. God damn it. <laughs> there you go. Make sure you don't miss him. Oh yeah, sorry, it's not this floor. It's another floor that looks like it that has a robot in the middle. Hey, we got the Force Awakens pep talk for the troops. Mm, yep. The obvious Nazi symbolism. They did yeah. the same thing in Game of Thrones. Did they? Cringe. Yep, cringe. Mm. I don't know about that. I mean, look, Nazis are... They're, they're fair game. No, just all of season 8 of Game of Thrones is cringe. Oh, fair enough. I hear the people don't like it. It's... You, you've railed about it before. <laughs> wow, that was I forgot crazy. how far those guys go flying. Well, There's another imp grenade up there you could grab. Yeah. Alright, nice job, John. Now, on the other hand, you have been found out. Damn. Mm. So if you get off the elevator and move sneakily, they won't see you initially. Why the hell would you even eat veggie pizza rolls? Hmm. You're not even living your life at that point. Fucking cringe. Yeah, take out the robot. Yep. Just so you know, the sniper rifle is not silenced. I know. Okay. Nice job, one magazine for one dude. Well, I shot the other guy, they just didn't die. Yeah. I don't know whether the enemies regenerate health like you do. I've never really looked into that. I don't think so. Yeah, no, you're good. Come on, bitch. Fucking. Five bullets. That's just funny. Nice. Um, oh, shit. You can just wait for your health to regenerate. I don't think you can be hit from there. I am waiting. Kind of two shots. Mm -hmm. One more than I need. You're a very impatient player. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you were trying to find my beer. I was going to say, you were very fortunate that guy did not hit you and interrupt your regeneration. He ain't shit. You can upgrade your max health at some point, I think. Yep. Yeah, jiggle peek this guy? Nah. Are you fucking serious with that? Well. Yeah. Well, Sounds pistol until I get him. Ammo. Nice. I also like that you do the same thing I do, which is reload after each bullet if you kill someone. Yeah, pretty close. Yeah. It's kind of a bad habit, to be honest. Exactly. Oh, nice job. Nice job staying alive. Well, it's a good thing you have another imp grenade. Hunk of junk. Yep. I need some ammunition. There should be tons of it. Oh wait, these guys only give you 11 Shit. bullets each. Actually, that's more than usual. So, uh, it looks like you're going the Bronson route again. Do I ever go any other route? Ah, eh, you know. I mean, I'm just commenting. I'm not... Look, I've done playthroughs where I've killed pretty much every killable NPC in the game. It's fine. 
Those are actually some of the most fun ones where you're just going hog wild on everything. You know, there were a few characters I did not kill that I could have. I mean, I didn't kill Jenny, for example, because I like Jenny. She's okay. Um, even though she's not a lumberjack, she is okay. Uh, yeah. I think, uh, yeah, I was going to say there's some software. Okay. This looks like a tower cat. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it does. Fair. Ooh, credits. Nice. I think there's some bad guys around here. Not now they're down below you. Me. Maybe they've already been drawn in by the... Oh, no, wait. Nice. I don't want to waste the ammo. And spin him around and punch him on the way around. It's a high-level move right there. There, yeah. Didn't want to waste the ammo. No, one shot. Yeah, no. Pistol ammo is extremely plentiful. You should not ever run I out of it. have a shitload of it. Yeah, you'll be fine. <laughs> yep. Yeah, thanks. Yep. One darts. Why the fuck do I pick those up? <laughs> I do like all the ammos in different boxes so you can tell it apart. Yeah. That's handy. Oh my fucking God. <laughs> Well, you know it's going to give you lots of time. Huh. All right, I see my path. No, that was not favorable, but whatever. You can also fortify your home node. Yeah, I'm gonna. Fortify, you fucking idiot. <laughs> you, yeah, you don't need to fortify that. You do not need to fortify that. That's not on the way to your node. I don't know. I'm just I'm fucking swinging wild. Yeah. You might write bumper at a certain point to slow down the the antivirus. Yeah. If you want to go for the cube, you'll have to do that, but I don't think you want to go for the cube. You're going to write bumper, you yeah. know. I did. You're good. You're good. You got this. Oop. Okay, so you can turn cameras off, um, and if you upgraded your hacking, you could turn turrets to your advantage, and uh, robots also. So if you hit left or right on the stick, you'll be able to. Um, yeah, you could upgrade some hacking. It's Resilient. the cranium one. So left, left. There you go. Yeah, you can uh, dominate turrets and turn turrets against the enemy if you wanted. So yeah, you can set those to hit the enemies, and you can also turn off the cameras on the right. On the right? What are you talking about? So, you've selected the cameras. You can hit um, X on them or whatever, and they'll turn those little green circles to red, and that turns the cameras off. They'll start stop moving. And as you can see, the turrets are now turned on your enemies. Nice. It's pretty solid. The classic thing about Deus Ex games is being able to turn things in the environment in your favor. Oh, Always yeah. lots of fun. All right. No desire to read emails whatsoever. Fair enough. Yeah, it's just like real life. Nah, that's fine. It's not for everybody. Still a bad guy over there, I think. Yeah. Trying to sneak up on your glorious turret. Um, did you just shoot your own turret? No. Okay, I thought you didn't. I I wondered. Can you aggro the turret after you've hacked it? I figured not, but that'd been hilarious if you shot yeah, your turret okay. and made it shoot you. Kind of like the little auto turret in Halo that uh, decided for whatever reason that we needed to yeah. die. <laughs> I think it fucked us up. Dude. It did! It says, what the hell was that supposed damage. to do? I wonder what caused that. Oh, hello. If you want, you can pick up the turret and walk it into position where it can shoot that guy. Well, that's what I'm going to do then. 
It's pretty amusing. Can I turn it around? Uh, yeah, by walking around and picking it up from different angles, you could. You got him, buddy. You have to move it closer and point it more at him. Yeah, fuck it. Whatever. Nice shot. Thanks. Yeah, this is what FEMA looks like. Um, I didn't expect those the kitchen. Are disaster to be. relief people. Yeah, in this game, they're part of the conspiracy. No, but uh, the Scholars Bowl coach oh, actually I'm not gave me in here with you. the booklet for the meet, and I went through and found some errors in the questions, including two math problems. I had the wrong answer. Nice. Yeah, that was that was fun. Classic Julian move right there. Well, hey, you know, we got to make sure this is straight, yo. I'm or with you. whatever business up in this yacht, something. Yep. All You're really not good at getting the bonuses. <laughs> Panel state? What the fuck is that? Uh, I set it to inactive. That way no one can trip the alarm with it. Not that it matters because you've eliminated enemies in this area, so it's fine. But security hub, you could hack it for XP and you know gain access to more things maybe. This is very favorable for getting the rewards. There you go, 2 1 cube cube home. Okay, able to move expeditiously, but you got this. No, you're not capturing. Yeah, I thought I was. Move, 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 move. Yeah, you'll have to use a stop. I think only one. I think you'll be able to... Ki nah, you'd probably use another one. Yeah. Can't. What, what? <laughs> Boring conversation anyway. Okay, fair enough. Hmm. Nuke virus. So if you jump off the edge here, you'll see the fall damage thing. Oh, I know. I already did that earlier. Oh, you saw the little animation? Why well, didn't take fall damage? Oh, no, no, then you haven't seen it yet. You'll know it when you see it. Jensen practicing his basketball skills. Still throws it too hard. So I need to go down or what? Uh, yeah, eventually. That's where the progress lies. Yes, give me a sniper rifle. Ooh, five ammo. That's pretty good. Seven total bullets. So stupid. I will say in Mankind Divided, they're more generous with the ammo, which I appreciate. That's a pretty realistic uh, radio unkeying sound, by the way. Hmm. Sounds pretty good. Nice, nice. Yeah, that is not along the path that's uh, going to lead back to your thing, so. Yeah, you can turn off a camera. Lockers. Oh my gosh, it's a Shangri La of lockers. It's a lot. Yeah, yeah. I like that someone just keeps software in a locker. Mm -hmm. I mean, bullets, yeah, sure, for security, but software, really? 
in a locker room. Presumably where people change and maybe shower. Things could get wet. That's where I want to keep all my floppy disks. Smooth. That wasn't as effective as I thought it'd be. No, that actually was pretty decent. Better than I normally do. Because obviously I try to do the same damn thing sometimes. You know, I gotta check to see how my college is doing football-wise. My guess is not super hot. Yeah. We won three straight, but it's not the strongest three wins, and you know, Findlay's usually pretty good. Oh, we won! Oh, shit. Fuck those Oilers. Seriously, yes! Me. Suck my dick. I'm sorry, what'd you say? Those guys detected me, so I had to kill them. Ah. You were not unexpected, undetected. Wings of Glory, long, told your story, no. etc. Nope. Suck it, Findlay. You suck. Get wrecked, assholes. Dumbbags. Don't you hate Grand Valley State as well? Oh, no, I hate Grand Valley State so much more, but we don't play them anymore. That's so funny. Yeah, Grand Valley Soviet Union. Yeah. Fuck him. Tony Ferguson went to school there. Fuck him. And everything that he's ever been about. Fuck Tony Ferguson. I'll say fuck Tony Ferguson. He's obviously not highly educated if he went to Grand Valley State. Not educated at all, motherfucker. He's a wrestler at Grand Valley State. Yeah, congratulations. Those guys don't get taught anything. I've been around their football program. Dumbest sons of bitches ever. They're just there to play football. Now I feel like you hate Tony Ferguson. I do, because he was a Laker. Makes me sad. He can suck my dick. Actually, I don't want him anywhere near it. He would fucking. He would give me some sort of terrible of disease you, from his awful mouth that went to Grand Valley beat State. Beat the shit out of you. Yeah, I'm sure he would. Whatever. Congratulations. Fighting Tony Ferguson's like fighting a swarm of razor blades. Yeah, well, you know what? True. He'll duck me just like he ducked that kebab guy. Yeah, there's a lot of discussion that Khabib ducked him, but okay. Yeah, whatever. They both got injured multiple times. Yeah, yeah, yeah. His ears will fall off. He'll never hear me because he can't hear anything because his ears are too fucked. His ears are fucked up. Yeah. So bad. Khabib's are bad too, though. His right ear oh, especially yeah. is pretty bad. Oh, yeah. That's just so, so ugly, wrestling to, so ugly to look at. Yeah. Yeah. At any rate, no. I do despise... What if I get bad cauliflower ear, then what? That'll look ugly. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. Um, no, I hate Grand Valley State with a passion, and... Um, but, you know, it's whatever. People make mistakes. Maybe he t will turn out okay in the end. I don't know. <laughs> uh, we'll see. Maybe. maybe. Probably not, but maybe. I'll give him a shot. No, but... Uh, the was no, they're a scumbag program, and they play dirty, and, you know, they break all the rules and get away with it, because uh, they're up the ass of the commissioner of the GLIAC, you know, so they never get called on any bullshit. What's the GLIAC? Uh, Great Lakes Intercollegiate Athletic Conference. We used to be part of that conference, but, you know, it's bullshit. All right, cutscene. How did that guy sneak up on Jensen? Seriously. Good question. Yeah. I also like that these bad guys are just carrying their luggage by themselves. Just kind of, no. Well. She looks weird. She does. Yeah, my boy Curl is playing. Uh, As if Jensen would allow himself to get knocked down by this chump. The dude's Jack. What he is Jack, but he's about? huge. He should be slow. Jensen should be quick. You know, some big guys are surprisingly quick. Yeah, I know, but Jensen still shouldn't have allowed him to get smacked right in the face like that. Now, I'm gonna tell you this: I've never fought this guy straight up and beaten him. Oh, but there is a way to cheese him. Do you wish to learn of the cheese? Okay, you need to run off to the side and go up a ladder. Just run around, you'll find the ladder. It's okay, it's okay. Don't bother trying to fight him, it's pointless. He tanks a million shots. I've had I've had shot him so many times. To no avail. There's the ladder behind There's those ladder. boxes. Bigo. Alrighty. Can he not go up ladders? No, he cannot. I cannot. Wow. That's good game design. Uh, yeah, so you need to negotiate your way. I don't think you can go over those. Yeah, various things explode. I think actually, if you just stand up here, he will eventually blow himself up with grenades. But, yeah, I don't do it that way. You need to go through the vent. I do believe. 
it's really dumb just how much damage. I mean, I think if you upgrade your weapons just right or hit them with the right combos, you can take them out normally, but I don't know what those are, and I don't look them up. It's just, fuck it. I use cheese to my advantage. I like cheese. I oh, do too. All right, you're going to want to hack this security terminal. Turrets. Yes. Well, something else first. I have to get both of these, right? The green thing? No, just get the red one. You get the red one, you win instantly. Okay, you got this. You also, if you get the red one, you get the bonuses automatically. Oh, that's cool. It I've is. I've been doing that more. So you should open the door. The cameras don't matter. But I guess you want to be undetected and unexpected, blah, blah, blah. Wings of glory, tell a story, and so on and so forth. You know, every time I hear that song, I just see the video I made in my head. I just see those fucking chickens. What? Do I go down the ladder? You need to go down there and you need to go through the garage doors that have opened up. Right there. Oh, no, not, not here. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Some other place with the garage doors, my bad. <laughs> you got distracted. You got weapons. Weapons here. It's on the other side of the room. Where, yeah, Barrett's in between you and there. Uh, Be careful, he, you know, don't don't run while he's shooting. He has a wind-up. See? Go, 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 go! All right. <laughs> yeah. You want to play that game? We're good. Yep. Film with a forklift. Uh, don't bother with that. Don't bother with that. Don't bother with that. You need to go. The turret starts. You, no, no, no. You need to. You need to hack the security hub in the room nearby to activate them. Then you need to get into that room. You can go through a duct. You could hack. If you get shot, it's going to interrupt your hack. By the way. He's really slow, though. You might want to nuke stuff. Nah. All right. I'm gonna laugh if you get shot. Nah. All right, now you need to get inside and... Uh, He's not even in here yet. I know. Slow as shit. Yeah, well. Maybe you walk slow or on easy difficulty or whatever you're on. Medium. I don't know. Maybe. I, I have no idea. I actually don't know how the difficulties change things outside of damage. I don't know if it changes the AI or whatever. AI. So I was thinking about more things we could do to make Madden better. And I think having some sort of setting to where p free agents will be more or less loyal to teams, you know? Yeah, they have that in 2K. That'd be really cool. Yeah, they have it in 2K. I'd like that. It's pretty nice. Yeah. Also, I would like a setting turned on to where you could have career-ending injuries, just to spice things up if you want to have something like that happen. You know? I'm not a huge fan of injuries. You're not a huge fan? No. Sucks. No, 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 but you, well, you also have the option to turn them off. Yeah. I just mean if you want to go really realistic, you know, because every now and again you do have a top tier player who just gets fucked by injuries. Andrew Luck. Well, the glue factory took care of him. There you go. Yeah, because they didn't get him an offensive line, therefore injuries. Yeah. They did draft Quentin Nelson while he was still there, but yeah. Not early enough. No, not early enough. Dude's a beast. It's such a shame because that Ballard guy has done such a good job rebuilding that team. Or he, you know, this year they're they're kind of getting crushed, but you know, still. They were good last year. They were, yeah, but this year they're just not doing so hot. Yeah, one of my buddies at Whiteman knows Darius Leonard. They went to high school together. Nice, nice. A guy on my competitive TF2 team a year ago or whatever, he actually went to school at Joe Burrow. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Ginger fuck. I think you gotta go to China. China, okay. That nose ring does not help you... his cause. As if he wouldn't just literally crush my esophagus with his fucking hand. Hey, achievable. 
Uh, but yeah, you should be dead of strangulation. You done after this, John? Yeah, I probably should be. Fair. Tell the energy was dropping a little bit. But yeah, that boss fight is kind of annoying. Actually, all three boss fights, there are ways you can cheese them, basically, with turrets and such, if you don't want to actually try to yeah. fight them. Apparently, when the game came out, they were way worse. You can't damage him. Hmm? You can't even damage the fucking guy, basically. Yeah, well, yeah, he just tanks so much damage, and it's ridiculous. But yeah. I mean, I'm sure if you got in a rhythm with his gun and dodging yeah, and whatever. Say, he doesn't present that much of an offensive threat, no. considering you can just time his... Bursts. Walking at them? Yeah. I really wonder whether that how it should have ended YouTube channel sprang off of the real episodes. Because the format is very Maybe. similar. Yeah, I like uh, the real Star Wars videos. Yeah, they're funny. It's a funky looking aircraft. Kind of ugly, to be honest. Yeah, yeah. Ebooks are scattered throughout most locations. Look for and read them to learn more about the world. Nope. Alrighty. Also, it looks like there's a flower on the top left. Yeah, it is, kind of. Yeah. I missed the UFC card, apparently. Nah. That's okay. Alright. I wasn't super jazzed by any of those fights. Yeah, maybe Daniel will notice he didn't watch and say, hey, we need to get spicier fights. <laughs> Let's have Joe Rogan on DMT arm wrestle Khabib. <laughs> yeah that'd be funny people would watch that actually I don't know can I you would. armor else when you're on DMT or are you just out of it I have no idea I don't know either I don't know I don't know how DMT works Joe know. Rogan probably can maybe maybe um, it wasn't like a pay-per-view it was a free card mm -hmm. they do free cards on Saturdays a lot of the time gotcha alright I guess I should save yeah boom alright so have you had fun I have. Nice, nice. Why can't I not pull out my gun? Uh, you're at Seraph shoot. Industries and they don't want you to pull out your gun there? I was going to shoot these guys. Why? You got lucky. They've had Beauty. enough hard times. Lucky. You too. Hey, I like how there's actually an undershirt underneath their shirts. Is there? You can see just the top white of an undershirt underneath one of those guys when he turned. I can see that his collar. Can you oh, see yeah. that? That's detail right there. Yeah, I guess you can. That is kind of cool. Yeah. And freaking Madden couldn't get the damn Pro Bowl in like 2020 because they claimed <laughs> the game didn't have enough graphics memory or whatever bullshit. Whatever. To have all the helmets and stuff. But yeah, guess. they can put a freaking undershirt on a guy in Deus Ex. Yeah. And Madden sucks. All right. Well, I'll all right. you go, I guess. I, I guess so. Well, it was fun. When should we do this again? Um.